And we are live. What's up, guys? Welcome to the Fresh Fit Podcast. After Hours Edition, man, we're joining the full panel. Bunch of ladies at the table. One Bunch mil. of ladies on the couch. One mil. One mil. Let's get into it. Let's go. All the night is my world. City light, ain't it good? I mean, listen, if you want to get off, if you want to leave, you, you, you're more than welcome to leave. I asked you to stop with the question and you didn't. Do you get want out, me to leave? Serious. Get out. Put your shoes on outside. You don't got to put them on in here. I know the night is not as good for seeing. I must believe in something so I'll make myself believe it. It's time to know. Keep it now, never tell a time. Get your kids and All right, we, we are, are back. back. What's up, guys? Welcome to the Freshman Podcast. After Hours Edition, man, we're joining a bunch of little ladies. Couch, table, it's packed house in here. Uh, and you guys could be anywhere else in the world, but you're here with us for the 1 million subs- uh, subscriber celebration. Quick announcement before we get into the show. Number one, patreon.com slash freshfit. Get all the behind-the-scenes content there, guys, whether it's us traveling to Romania and London, chasing down weirdos on bikes, all that shit. Go ahead, check us out over there. Dating videos, double dates, all the OG content. Got like 400-plus videos on there, guys. Patreon.com slash freshfit. And the entertainment interview. Yes, the Entertain interview is there because YouTube took it down because the Matrix are a bunch of haters. Also, check us out on Megaphone, guys. We're not on Google and Apple Podcasts anymore. Now we're on Megaphones. If you guys want to listen to us on audio, check us out over there. We got a Fresh Fit channel and a Fresh Fit After Hours. So if you want to learn how to make money, get in shape, become a better guy in general, Fresh Fit. If you guys want to listen to me debate girls and lose hair follicles, go ahead and check me out on Fresh Fit After Hours or us on Fresh Fit After Hours. Also, guys, get fresh, uh, FreshFitPodcast.com. All the hoodies and T-shirts are there. Uh, new concepts coming very, very soon. We got the designs already. Just need to put them on the shirts. Also, guys, oh, check man. out our other YouTube channels called Fresh and Fit Clips, guys. On there, we post uh, three clips per day along with two shorts. And, uh, yeah, man, if you don't have time to watch a full-on podcast, go ahead and get the best pie- size portions over there on Fresh Fit Clips. And then, Fresh, you want so much fun? Guys, for vlogs, live streams that are funny, more chill, more relaxed, check out the vlog channel. How'd you count away? We did a video regarding Instagram yesterday, and Thursday, we're going to do a blind date. So, check it out, guys. How'd you count away? Let's go. Um, and then, guys, check me out on Feta 1811 on there. I break down criminal cases. Um, I'm probably going to do the takeoff case for y'all. As you guys know, he was, uh, you know, tragically killed two days ago RIP. Uh, and, in Houston. Rest in peace. So I'll probably cover that a little bit and give you guys the insight as to how the detectives will more than likely treat this. It's probably um, from what I'm seeing with the facts that I have is more than likely going to be treated as a manslaughter case. It doesn't look like premeditated murder to me, but we'll uh, we'll get into that. And then so manslaughter is only like 20 years and then the other ones. It depends. Years? Every state is different. Mm. Every state is different, but Texas in general has pretty stiff t- penalties. Mm. I mean, they, they kill them. They've killed the most people on death row by far. So, um, so yeah, we'll see what happens. And then uh, for some of you guys that like serial killers or if you like t- serial killers, terrorists, whatever, maybe types of crimes, FBI. drug trafficking, any of that shit, I go ahead and break down a criminal case for you guys. I, I'm dropping a, uh, a documentary on Osama bin Laden. It's a part of a four part series that's going to come out on Thursday. Your cousin? And then 9 11. Yes. Haha. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, <laughs> Yeah, so if you guys, whatever type of crime you guys like, go check me out on FEDA 1811. I, I bring my experience to the table and kind of explain how criminal cases work for you guys from a foreign fest perspective. And then, Chris, go ahead. Yes, ladies, uh, DM and Aaron C. Pox on IG. Uh, shout out to the team, by the way. We got Zena, we got Eric, Anwar, Detox. All right, so uh, make sure if you DM uh, Aaron C. Poxon, no fake accounts. I got no third or fourth accounts. If you're flying this from some other state to Miami, let me know. Let's get it. All right. All right. So, ladies on the panel, it's our one mil celebration stream. So, shout out everyone for coming. So, give us your name, your age, what you do for a living, dating status, education, education level, and if you want to, of course, your body count. And we'll start right here. Hey, what's up? I'm Mandy. I'm 25 and I do OnlyFans. I am single. Mm. Cool. Oh, yeah. And I finished high school. That's it. All right. Wait, how, you said you're 25. Where are you originally from? I am from Houston, Texas. Okay. Um, how long have you been in Miami? I have been here for three years. Okay. Um, and then you said you do only fans in highest education yes. level complete as high school? Yes. All right. Single relationship, sugar daddy? No sugar daddy. <laughs> okay. So single? Yeah. Super okay. single. All right. Cool. All right. Welcome. What, what about you? Hi. How are you? My name is Yailen. I'm 24. And what I do for a living is I have my own swimmer line and I also do only fans. Wait, you said 24? Yeah. Okay. You were here before, huh? Okay, cool. 
Uh, boyfriend relationship, what? Married. 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 Okay. So it's <laughs> first notes. Remember. <laughs> <I> remember. <laughs> is that a is that a closed relationship? I'm assuming. Yes. Okay. So Very. open on his end or close on both y'all? Close on both. Oh shit. Okay. Uh, 24 married. Uh, highest education level completed. High school. Okay. And you're from where originally? Miami. Cuba. I'm Cuban. Where'd you go to high school? South Miami. Okay, you're from Miami. I consider wherever you go to high school, going to high school is pretty much more than likely where you're from. Those are the formative years. What about you? My name is Kayla. Um, uh -huh. I graduated from the Florida Agricultural and Mechanical University. Um, I and with what degree? BS in biology, minor in chemistry. Okay. And how old are you? 25. Uh huh. And I'm a licensed esthetician and electrologist, and I'm single. Okay. okay. Cool. And, and you said an electrologist? Yes. Permanent. The study of electricity? No, that's permanent hair removal. Oh, okay. <laughs> Interesting. All right. Never heard that before. Like laser? Me either. Can you laser me? <laughs> and where, where are you originally from? Um, I'm originally from Indianapolis, but I've been in Florida now for like seven years. Okay. Damn. Hey, y'all. All right. <laughs> and single relationship? Single. Okay. Cool. What about you? Thank you for having me back. I'm uh -huh. Marie Tamara, 27 years old. I have a bachelor's in business. I'm a model influencer and I do OnlyFans. Okay. Um, and guys, she looks short, but she's not short at all. No, yeah. How, how, you want to tell the people how tall you are? I'm six foot two. I'm a giant. Okay. Fair enough. <laughs> v five full five. Uh, and then you said single? Yes, single. All right. All right cool. Uh, what about you? My name is Takira. I am 18 years old. I grew up in Minnesota. I live in Miami. Um, highest level of education is high school. I'm a content creator. I thought you. I thought you managed content. Kind of. Okay. Like the same like, thing. Because people like don't they send you clips or whatever? Or you make your own no, stuff? No, I too? make my own you stuff. Kick it out the way. Yeah. Uh, you make your own stuff. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Now you make. Okay. Because last time I remember it was you. Like people give you clips and stuff like that, and you manage it for them. No, when people I, send me products, and then I make videos for them. Yeah. Off of. Yeah. Yeah. Like if they might make like long form content, and then you. Put it into clips, whatever. Just throw that there. Man, I hate these fucking <laughs> balloons. Man. I, I hate these things. Whose idea was it to get the fucking balloons, man? I, as soon as I saw them, I was so like, what the hell is this? It's my idea. Yeah, well, that was. Uh, of course it was. Stupid. So I had to do it. Um, all right, so cool. So I'll just put content creator then because I wasn't sure. I guess both. Yeah. All right, because when you say con I look at it like you make the original content you put out yourself versus. No, like, I make the content and they put it where they want to put it. I make the videos, I send it to them, and they run ads on my videos. Is but it you or other types of content? It's like, I don't know how to explain it. It's so hard to explain. Yeah, you're confused too, right? Yeah. Like, yeah. Because, <laughs> like, I'm, for I'm example, crazy. on YouTube, people make like rain videos or like, you know, storm videos where people go to sleep from the videos no. and then post it, get, get paid. Is it no, your videos? Like, you know the ads you see on Snapchat or the ads you see on TikTok? With celebrities? No. Not okay. celebrities, like, like of products, okay, of stupid little gadgets Bruh. or like, like beauty. You're watching right. stories. Yeah, like that's the kind of content I create. I okay. create those videos. So it's part on behalf of another yourself. entity, though. Yes, on behalf okay, of cool. another entity. Cool. Okay, it's, okay, it's not her. All right, so she yeah. she makes on behalf of another entity, and then they pay her to make that yes. pro content for them to advertise their stuff. Yes. Right. Okay, you're yes. not gonna explain anything. We got you though. You're, you're, uh, you're a marketer. Basically. Yeah, she's a marketer. Yeah. yeah. Hi, I'm right. Jacqueline. My Instagram's at jpuma. J p u m a a. I'm a painter and a tattoo artist. I'm 28. I have my bachelor's of fine art, and I don't know what else we're supposed to say. Sorry. You said what? 28. 28. Okay, and then you said uh, a bachelor's in what? Fine arts. Okay. Three twenty eight. Sorry to hear that. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, and then um, single status? relationship. Yeah. Single. All right. Cool. All right. Wait. And what was yours? Dating status. Oh, I'm in a relationship. I was, you know, Still, it's funny. Actually, I was waiting to see if you said single or no. Okay. Cool. Good. Still. All right. Good to hear that. Good to hear. <laughs> of course. Uh, so what color? I'll roll your tomorrow <laughs> from the roots up. Yo, if you're a Naruto fan, you know what that means. Anyhow, <laughs> I'm, <zero forward. laughs> I'm Shintarie. I'm 26. I'm from Kansas. I graduated from the illustrious Florida Agricultural Mechanical University. Okay. With my bachelor's in business, concentration in marketing. Mm -hmm. um, I'm in insurance. I, I'm also a travel agent and I do a little marketing on the side. You do a lot. God damn. <laughs> okay. I uh, hold you. 26. And a dating status? I'm taken cool. in a relationship. How long? Four years. Nice. Okay. 
And then uh, one more time, Shantaria. 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 Yeah. Tarje. And and, can't, and can't, you said you're from Kansas originally, right? <laughs> yeah. Where'd you do undergrad at? Uh, Florida A and M. Okay. M-M. Cool. Cool. Uh, what about you? My name's Issa. I'm 22 years old. Um, I'm currently a student. I'm about to graduate, okay. and I'm from New Jersey. You're from okay. Jersey? Yes. Red flag. You go to school <laughs> out here in Miami, or do you yeah, go- that's why I'm here in Miami. Okay. I go to school. So you're originally from New Jersey. I'm from. New Jersey. Um, what are you majoring in? I'm a double major, so I do psych and then crim law, and then a minor in sociology. Fantastic, useless degrees, great. Uh, and then no, um, they're not useless. Yeah, well, that's debatable. <laughs> um, okay, and then um, and this is coming from a guy that has a criminal justice degree as well. Uh, okay, and then major psych, and then single relationship, sugar Sing, daddy, single. All right, cool. All right. What about you? All right, I'm Kaylee. I'm 22. I'm from Pennsylvania. I graduated um, with a bachelor's of of business administration with a focus on marketing. Um, I currently manage two artists right now. Rappers? And I'm two rappers, yes. And I am single. Cool. Where are you originally from? Oh, you're Pennsylvania, Pennsylvania. right? Mm-hmm. What, what part of Pennsylvania is a big state? Pittsburgh. <laughs> oh, okay. America's hometown. All right. What about you? My name's Tori. Um, I'm from California. And uh, 29. Wait, 29? What? 29? 29. <laughs> and um, I'm unemployed at the moment. Well, what did you do prior to... To that law enforcement okay as of like a few weeks ago okay wait what'd you stop um i got hurt okay. so i had to medically retire wow all right wow. medical yeah so retired police officer single relationship single single all right cool um all right and then oh highest education completed uh bachelor's okay and then obviously a police uh, CJ. Okay. And then at a police academy as well in California. All right. All right. And over here. Yep. Yes. Hi. My name is Julia. Uh, I'm 25 from Finland. And I study international business. I'm writing my thesis on the bachelor's. And I'm single. Welcome back. Thank you. Uh, Thanks so for wait, having me. You broke me. up with him? I did. Oh, shit. Did, he, oh, did you break up with him or he broke up with you? No, I broke up with him. For sure. Oh, uh, shit. Was she it was the show? Like, this podcast taught me a lot. Was, yeah, was, was it us? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, oh, I did. I oh. promise you. Oh, wow. Bro, it's either we destroy your relationship or we make it stronger. It's one of the two, man. It's <laughs> exactly. never in between. It's it's one of those two every time. Exactly. Wait, what, was he sad? Was he like, damn, like it broke my heart? He didn't care. Yeah, he's. I think he's sad, but he blocked me everywhere, so I don't know. <laughs> Smart wow. man. I hope Smart he man. is because he really did wrong. He did wrong? Yeah, he did. He cheated on me. <gasps> All right, name one thing he did wrong in the relationship besides cheating on you, and one thing you did wrong in the relationship. Go. Uh, I didn't do anything wrong. That's what I know. And no, but I really didn't. I was so loyal. So you were perfect 100%. You did nothing wrong. No, ever. but I promise you, I actually didn't do anything wrong. You didn't and annoy that's... him all the time. You didn't berate him. You didn't constantly bother him or no. get at him for cheating on you. No, or... I, was, I didn't because I was too good for him, and he's going to realize it later. <laughs> I was, about, I was even about to move, like to Stockholm to his place. No. Oh, wow. Oh, so yeah, no but, sex. Just for him? Yeah, just for him. That's amazing. And, yeah. But so I'm, guys, I'm not moving. So anymore. she was a perfect girlfriend, guys. Perfect girlfriend. No, but I promise you I was. Okay. You, you did should... nothing ever wrong, ever. Of False course, promises. Of course I did, but not like things name, as hit. Name the worst thing that you did then. Um... Yeah, I know this is tough. <laughs> it's so tough. <laughs> I don't know because he did so many bad things. I had anorexia and he wanted to leave me then. And then when I got better, so he wanted to be with me again. And now, yeah. So wow. I don't I don't know what I did wrong, to be honest. Interesting. Okay. All right. What about uh, you? Hi, um, I'm Kara. I'm 22. I'm from Cleveland, Ohio, but... Oh, yeah. Why did I say Chicago? All right. Yeah, Cleveland. Midwest Um, somewhere. Yeah, the Midwest. Um, I've lived in Miami since June. Um, I have a bachelor's in finance, and I'm a financial analyst for an investment bank. Okay. Welcome back. Thanks. All right, cool. All right, so we got all the ladies introduced. So you guys got an idea of who's here, what they do, et cetera. Got a couple ladies here with bachelor's degree, et cetera, bachelor's uh, degrees, or in college themselves. So this is good, man. Hopefully... We don't have a low IQ conversation, I hope. All right, Zeus, W uh, Daystream, shout out to Discord fam, the access of content and knowledge that is 
going on in the Discord for free is unmatched. Thanks, FNF, for providing community empowerment. We got y'all, man. Cool. And there's a couple of girls in there too. So, you know, y'all could talk with uh with them as well. Enlightened ladies. Uh you're fat. That's a biological. Okay. Congrats on one mil. You guys should uh Andrew Tate and Saint the Center on a pod together in studio. That would break the internet. Also, when you guys go to Vegas, collab with Saint in the center as well. All right. Uh Zenon goes, congrats to y'all hitting one mil and another congrats to our new brother Andrew Tate for converting Islam love from Palestine. Shout out to y'all. Cool. Uh Gregory D. Galloway, five bucks. Thank you. Uh, me and my three inch goes, congratulations on 1 million subscribers. Hey, Myron, have you seen the Brazilian BBL girl that sounds like a man on a podcast talking about how badly Sneeko and Axe treated her? Uh, we don't care, bro. Uh, question for ladies. Why do y'all see block guys in the club that approach your friend and not you? That's such a good one. That's not bad. All right. Um, why do you cock block your friend in the club? We'll start on the couch with Miss Cleveland. Why do you cock block your friends at the club? Uh, what is the main reason? Because I don't want my friend to go home with someone because I want her to come home safely with me. Okay. That, yeah. Okay. All right. So you're, uh, so you're, so you're selfish. Got it. Yeah. Fantastic. <laughs> and, and and question for you. Do you do that regardless of uh, your friend's interest level for the male? No. I mean, if she wants to go home with him, she can go home with him. But like... Well, let's be honest. Will you will you try to talk her out of it? Oh, yeah. Okay. You will You will attempt. Okay. Mm -hmm. What about you, Miss Finland? Uh, what was the question? What is the word I have never heard oh, of before? It means, oh, cock block, yeah. Cock block means literally cock blocking. Why, why oh, do you... Like, <laughs> like why you don't want no, no, your no. friend to go yeah, with somebody. Like, yeah, exactly. Yeah. Why do you prevent your friend from getting sex from a guy at the club? Yeah, well, it depends who is the guy. Like, if it's a good guy, so then I wouldn't. But, like, I don't want... Like, I don't prefer only, like... Well, the question is, why do you do it in the first place? Oh, uh, why do I do it? Yes. Uh... The main reason. Maybe the main reason for him not to, like, if he's not a good guy, like, if I wouldn't want my how friend would you to be know involved. Good, okay, question. <laughs> is he a bad guy? Is he, how would no, you know but he's you a, can oh. read it, like, from the face and how they act and everything. From the face? Yeah, or how they act and how they speak and, like, everything. <laughs> okay. All right. All right. Okay. No, but you can see, like, how they are. I don't know how to explain in English. All right. What about you? <laughs> I mean, um... <laughs> If I get um creepy vibes, I'm just gonna end it. So yes, uh, yes, because they're creepy. That's yeah, the main that's reason. what I meant also. <laughs> Fantastic. <laughs> All right, what about you? I've never been in that situation. You've never cock blocked the front. Never. Stop the I cap. promise you, I've never. Stop You've never cap. been at a club with your friend. She's talking to a guy, and you pulled her from that guy. Come on, man. Stop never the cap. in my life. I swear to God. I have, and if I have, I would tell you. I don't care. I have everything. Why the fuck you lying? <laughs> yeah, that just doesn't make sense. Why you all oh trying? God. Have you ever been? Okay, let, let's make this simpler to kind of show how crazy you sound right now. Have you ever been to a nightclub? Yeah, but have I guys approached you and, and your friends at the nightclub? I would never really go with friends. I always go with my husband. You've never been to the nightclub with your friends? I can't say that I have, to be honest. Damn, he got you on lock I, and key. I can't. I haven't. I well, really it's what she's married, bro. Yeah. She got him on lock and key, but I'm, I'm saying you've never been to a nightclub with your friends. No, no. I only have, I literally only have like one friend and I never go clubbing with her. I always go clubbing with my husband. I sort of gone. Oh, it's what she's married. I haven't been in that situation, but if I were, I would probably, I wouldn't cock block because that's her life. You know, I don't care. I do, it's me. I don't know. <laughs> You're like, you do you. Everybody has their own life. Everybody can do whatever they want. All right. Yeah, I'll take a look at her Instagram and tell me if she's telling the truth. <laughs> take a look at her Instagram and tell me if she's telling the truth. All right, what about you? Uh... Um, It would depend on the approach. Like, I would just read his approach and her, like, response well, to well, it. No, what, what's the, ladies, the question is, why do you cock block your friends in the club? Give us one well, reason. it's a safety thing. Safety? Safety, yeah, okay. it's safety. Okay. What about you? Uh, I don't really have girlfriends, so I've never experienced that. Same. <laughs> You've sorry. been out at a club with your girl, with friends, female friends before, and you guys have cock blocked. What is the main reason? I don't. Uh, they're acquaintances. They're not friends where I feel comfortable enough cock blocking. So you don't stop it. No. Okay. Okay. What about you? Never been in that situation. Not old enough to go to the club. So. Oh, yeah. All right. Okay. What about you? I've only saved a friend when they give me the eyeball. Did it just okay. leak some so information? <laughs> they'll, they'll look at you and be like, save me, girl. Help me. Yeah, safety. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. yeah. So that's the only time you ever, you ever do it? No, I've never cock blocked. Like, if you're going to go out well, and you like girls, girls don't understand what cock... They might look at it as, like, what you... 
they look at it like, oh, I'm not necessarily stopping him from fucking her. But what girls don't understand is that even you coming in to interject and join in the conversation is cock blocking to it. Like, Agreed. what happens is, right? Mm-hmm. She'll believe when the guy, you're like, Susie, where are you going? Yeah. And it's that's like, cock blocking. Bro. Even yeah, if he's no. talking to a girl and then you come in and just join the conversation, that's cock blocking. Like, so it could be that subtle, but girls don't get that. I've never but, been that girl ever. Mm-hmm. But if they say, like, with the eyes, mm-hmm. help me, God. Then I grab them and I'm like, hey. so you only come if it's initiated by them. Yeah. Okay. Uh, so, Martin, we have the Instagram um, up right now, but I don't think uh, <laughs> Twitch is able to handle this. <laughs> so we may have to uh, remove Twitch. Yeah, it's fine. It's, it, okay. the, yeah. the, the audience can go ahead and do their own research and <laughs> see why I don't believe Twitch. what she's saying you, sure? about going to a club. Yeah, uh, it's, uh, it's no, 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 no. It's right. fine. Uh, they, they can do the re- they, they'll know. Okay, so you do it only when it's initiated. If we need to bring it up again, we will. But wh- what about you? Uh, do you? Why do you cock block your friends? At yeah, the club? I can't say like I'm the cock blocking type, unless my friend maybe it's like you're drunk and like you kiss someone in the club. Then I'm pulling you away because you're doing too much. Cause you kiss somebody in the club. Yeah, that's rule number one. You don't kiss anyone in the club. Are you crazy? What? <laughs> what? What? You what could be in here, blessed, but you don't know who's in here. You know what I'm saying? What if there's like some baller across? Now you over here kissing him because he can saw you kiss somebody. Now you blocking our drinks for the rest of the night. Like, yeah, no, you don't kiss anyone in the club. Damn. Rule number Do you accept one. free drinks in the club? Smart though. If it came from the bar and I saw it, yeah. But so not you'll just... accept free drinks at the club, but you won't kiss a guy in the club. I'll accept drinks from the bar. Not like if a guy came up to me and brought it. I don't know where it came from. Yeah, of course. Accepting. But you'll accept free drinks paid by a man at the club. Yeah. But you won't kiss a man at the club. No. Interesting. Okay. <laughs> uh, what about what about you? Only if, like, the person's too drunk. Like, if I feel like my friend is, like, really drunk, you know, doing whatever, then that's the only time. Other than that, no. Hmm. Safety. Okay. Yeah. Oh, Safety. Why, why do you cock block your friend? Um, I definitely agree with her, what she was saying. Um, if I notice that my friend is way too drunk, like I know my friends like that. If I'm going out with yeah. them, then I can tell if they're way too drunk. And if I know that they're going to make a decision that they're going to regret in the morning, then I'll step in between. So you three only intervene when they're drunk. That or one, if the guy is super ugly. Sorry, fresh. Or two. Chris, I'm not talking again. For, <laughs> for, for, safety, out, nigga. for safety, like she was saying, um, if if I'm getting creepy vibes, mm-hmm. then I'm gonna step in between because I want my friends to be safe, like they would want me to be safe. But wouldn't it be fair to say that with women, there's a lot more leeway with how a guy looks? So, like, you know, it, it, women aren't as necessarily, I guess, uh. If a guy's ugly, a guy can make up for it in other ways. So if you think he's ugly, she might still find him attractive. So you're going to still step in? My friends and I usually have the same type. Or if, you know, we'll know each other's types. Like, I know my friends like that. So I know if I see a guy, I'm like, my friend's not going to like him. And usually, like, um, a couple girls are saying also that, like, they'll give looks sometimes, like, help me. But okay. what, what if your friend has the same type? No, he's not for her. Why do you have to butt in if you guys have the same type? Exactly. So I wouldn't really need to, but you know, <laughs> you just said you would though. Because I do have some nervous friends that aren't really comfortable with turning guys away like that. In front of you? Yeah. No, not in front of me. Like just in general. Like hmm. they're nervous. They're shy. They don't really talk like talking to people like that, or they get nervous saying no. All right. Interesting. Uh, what about you? Why do you cock block? <laughs> I don't. I haven't been to the club in years, but when you did, go. I don't recall ever. Cock-blocked. Never, not once. If if I've ever cock blocked, it's from like, it's a guy friend, who I'm like, hey, don't get at her. She's like disgusting. What? Like, it's, <gasps> wait, what? It's, what? I, like, I would cock block a guy friend over a girlfriend. If that makes sense. Like, okay, I have a degenerate guy friend who Just, goes out and. Okay, so out of curiosity, why what why would you cock block your guy friend from a girl? What was the ma- being the main reason? You a, said disgusting, but disgusting would, in what way? Like. She's sloppy, ugly. sloppy, drunk, oh, like crap. nasty. I mean, but he typically goes for anything, so that's how men operate. Okay. Yeah. Oh, she uh cock block all right. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Um uh, I don't. Uh, uh, cock the gun back, no? Uh, law enforcement. <laughs> law enforcement. Is he already drunk? Don't yeah, he's already, yeah, he he's already yeah, he already popped the champagne in the back. <laughs> that was um, a good joke. All right. That's a good joke. What, what we got here? Uh guys, how many we got watching live? Uh we got about 
almost, nice, almost, okay. almost 10,000. All right, guys, do me a favor. Go ahead and like the video on your way in. And then um, from this point forward, we're going to read 10 and up. Uh, congrats on 1 million subs, 10 million next. Appreciate everything from the Money Mondays to the entertainment and the after hours. Got y'all, man. We give you guys everything that you guys want. Ladies, guess the way of the girl next to you. This is like every time. Uh, you want to run with that one? They're all pretty skinny. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. That's only fun when there's a fat girl on the panel. <laughs> The sacred one. Mine, I mean, 100%. Uh, she Sorry. hasn't given me box in a month and a half, and I questioned her. Said it bothers me that keep track. We are three years, and I'm six foot, light skin, nice car, BRZ athletic. You know what? I want to see what the girls are going to give advice on this. Let's go ahead and start right here with uh, Miss uh, Five O. Um, guys, not getting uh, hasn't had sex with his girlfriend in a month and a half. She don't want to give him sex. What he sh what should he do? Tell her to give it to him. He just get a new and dick. <laughs> If she, I mean, then, that sounds then, then be honest, theory. Then be honest with her and tell her, this is not working out. I'm going to get with someone else. So break up with her. Yeah, be honest and do, and yeah. Okay, so break up with her. And just uh, hold, keep that question up on the screen, Chris, so that we always have her for reference and make sure I have the context correct. Um, Maya being 100, yeah, she hasn't given me box in a month and a half, and I questioned her and said, it bothers me that you keep uh, that you keep track. That's what she said. It bothers Wait, that she yeah. keeps track. We're three years and I'm six. Okay, six foot light skin, nice car. It bothers me that. Oh, she said it bothers me that, that you he keep keeps track. Yeah, he told her a month and a half. Had sex. Yeah. Well, well guys, I mean, you should expect a guy to keep track if it's that long. Yeah. <laughs> so you say he should just uh, go uh, tell her, break up with her. Yeah. If it's not working, then break up. Okay. Cool. What's what's your thoughts on it? Um, I think that sex drive is an important factor in a relationship. And if um, both partners aren't matching, then that's an issue. Mm -hmm. So I think that he should have a genuine conversation with her, let her know how he feels and why he feels that this relationship isn't working out. Do you for think him. he can negotiate? Um, honestly, no, no, because okay. I think that sex drives are as they are. And, you know, if she's feeling that you know, she's being forced to do something. So why more. talk to her if there's no negotiation? Well, I would just explain like, hey, I'm breaking up with you okay. because of these reasons. So you break up with her and explain? Yeah. Okay. Would you break up with her and explain too or no? You just say, this isn't working out. Just leave? Well, I would say, hey, either I, I'd give an ultimatum. Like, okay. either Comply or goodbye. get with it or... <laughs> you fucking or you're not! Like, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, if that's the part of the relationship and it just stop suddenly then that's one thing if 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 it's a continuous thing where they're both used to not getting it for that long then... okay what about you what should you do i think i disagree with you guys sure, i think three years is do? a long time three months they said three months no, no, a month three and a half a month they, and a half no, they haven't had sex but they've been but together they for three, three years, years. Yeah. three years is a long uh, time for to be in a relationship i think that you guys are partners so you gotta like work with your partner i think as a woman too i think a lot of times like it stems from attraction. So I think it's like about having a conversation and then like seeing what the root is it. And then like, if it keeps going on, then you can go into like ultimatums and stuff. But I think three years is a long time just so to you think break you can, up. You think he can negotiate the sex? I think, but I think it's about working with his partner and understanding maybe, maybe it's her, maybe she's dealing with something. And then, you know, if there's no fixing her and, you know, so, then you go with an ultimatum. But so you negotiate with her and try to come to yeah, the middle ground. Course, yeah, yeah, I don't All know right. it was three years. Yeah. Oh, so so that, oh, means, that changes your opinion. What should you do now? I, then? I still think that there should be a discussion, but there there must be a reason for the change, right? I mean, you're a woman though. Like you should understand. Like you know, your body changes. Stuff happens. <laughs> well, like, what changes? My period. No, but like you go through phases. Maybe she doesn't. Maybe she's not confident. You never know. Unless it's like postpartum or something. Like yeah. yeah. If she, she just had a baby, like, if she just had a baby, then then you're right. Maybe maybe not, maybe she's not she had a baby though. Yeah. Okay, if yeah. she didn't just have a baby, then what, so what? What do you change? Your, now that you know it's for three years, what is your? Do you change your opinion? Break up with her, or you say break up with her, but like I, give up? I think up, there needs to be discussion. To if it was out. three years, that is a long time. So three years, have a discussion, say, hey, what's going on? But realistically, do you think he can negotiate? If they can't come to an agreement, then yeah. If if, if it's not going to work, then what else is he going to do? Okay, so figure it out and negotiate. What about you? Do you change your answer after three years? Same thing. Can't negotiate it. Just figure out what no, it is wait, and break up wait, with her anyway. I did say um have a conversation about it and try to talk about it but if it's not working then okay so try to... attempt the negotiation yeah okay what about uh what about you same i think three years is a long time so clearly there's an issue at hand they need to figure that out and she can't get with it then maybe they should break up but okay. sex is important. Okay. So Yo, break up with her if she doesn't give it. I have an opinion so bad, but I'm going to save it. Yeah, yeah. I want to see what the <laughs> girls say. What about you? She's cheating. No cap. 
<laughs> so what should he do? Um, so what, he should, what should he do? And now? if she's not cheating, she's about to. So mm. get out immediately. I was in a seven year relationship and I had absolutely no problem with that. So three years means nothing to me. I don't care. Like if you're not having sex, something is wrong. You should, especially if you're in love. Sorry, that's controversial to everyone in this room. But unless she had a baby and she's having serious confidence issues with like her body, mm -hmm. that is the only like things I would have a conversation with her about. And then I'd be like, I'm out because something's about to happen. She's about to cheat. W. Sorry, dude. All right, so so break up. She, she's cheat. You're you, so she's cheating. Break up with her. The, the, even do you should you are you even going to give her an explanation? She's already entertaining other men right now. Okay. okay. So are you going to explain anything to her or no? You just leave. <laughs> no, run, man. Okay. Like, run. <laughs> All right. Cool. What about you? I totally agree. Sex is what keeps your man. So if you're not giving it up, it's time to go. So what has he been doing then? You he's know obviously he's cheating. Doing. If he's yeah, not so getting it for a month and a half, mm -hmm. he's, uh, jacking a off. month and a half, I think that's off. maybe too yeah. quick to maybe like cheat, especially. Well, I don't know. No, All it men is are not. different. I feel like he, Merch. I want to believe maybe he's talking to Pamela and maybe they're <laughs> figuring things out. Pamela so Anderson. You, you, said, uh, <laughs> exactly. uh, you said she's cheating. Uh, you, no, you said he, she, you think the girl's cheating and are you going to adopt her thing and just break up and not explain? Yeah. Okay. What about you? Hold on. You want a point real quick? I had a question. Yeah, go on. So does it have to do with is, this? Is it relating to this? If not, then just save it. Stupid. Yes, but All right, go ahead and I'll ask wait, it, and then uh, just ask it. And if just, it's not, uh, we'll move on. If it's not, I was tight just gonna in. ask. So you think that sex keeps a man? Yeah. Sex keeps a woman. I'm sorry. Yeah, yeah. and yeah, yeah, that too. I would, I would, I would be disagree. out. It's, Something's wrong. It's definitely a benefit, but there's way more to a relationship. That's true. Than just I sex. I totally agree with that. But but it's like number two. Men want pussy. Yeah. <laughs> so do women. Personally, and not I have self control yeah. when it okay. comes to some like. We'll we'll tackle that here in a second. Yeah. What what about you? What what should you do? I would at least have a conversation, but if they can't come to an agreement, then probably break up. So try to negotiate. Yeah. Do you think it's it's worth it? Uh, for three years, yeah. Okay. What about you? Yeah, it sounds like she's mentally or emotionally ch already checking out. Um, I agree mm -hmm. with what she said. It's she's already entertaining other people, or it's soon. So coming. what should he do? So I think he should definitely like just leave. Yeah, leave. Not even. No, he no should definitely. He should definitely try to talk it out. But if that doesn't work, if nothing changes, the red flags are there. Okay. What about you? I think she doesn't like him. <laughs> You're so yeah. sweet. All right. All right. So what what should he do in response to that? If he's not feeling the love and affection, he should obviously find it somewhere else. So leave. Yeah. Not even explain anything. Well, maybe tell her why. So she can leave feel bad why. about it. <laughs> but leave, it, leave anyway. Yeah, okay. I think so. Leave and tell why, but that's about it. All right, what about you? No, I absolutely agree with everyone over here. I don't think she's feeling it at all. Uh -huh. I think she's probably about to break up with him or cheating, like you said. So what should he do in response? I think she should. he should probably have a conversation with her and say it's just not working out because sex is very important in a relationship. And if if they've gone a month without it, I don't see how it's going to last any any farther. So leave and explain. Yes. Okay. Well, uh, Couch, what about y'all? Uh, yeah, I also think that three years is a long time that they would be or they would need to talk about it because, for example, she can have some like body insecurities. Okay. Like, for example, me when I had anorexia, so I was insecure about my body. So I think like you should talk about it with your partner. I th I don't think that should be like a problem or like a reason to break up okay so you think you do you think he can negotiate the sex out of her yeah for sure if okay. there's like a big reason for it okay all right uh what about you cleveland um i think i'm more contrary to the table i think three years is a lot to invest um and three years is too much to break up over a month and a half in my book um so it's definitely negotiable um she might not be feeling it, but there's clear reasons why she got into the relationship and there's clear reasons that she's not feeling it. And if she can articulate why she's not feeling it, then you can get to a place where you can get it back. So I, I wouldn't leave. Um, I wouldn't jump, really. I would just have that conversation. So and I'm just going to say, yes, this is a yes or no. And I'm just going to start with Cleveland and work our way back. So I really know. Make sure I understand this. Do you think sex is negotiable from a male from a male to a woman? Go yeah. to Cleveland. Yes? yes. You think it is? Okay. What about what about you? Yes. Yes? Okay. 
I really don't think it has to be negotiated. Like, so it's no. No, both parties should want it. Okay, so by your answer, it's it's a no. no. It's not negotiable. Yeah. Okay. What about you? Is it negotiable? <laughs> I think. I think yeah. You think it is negotiable? He could probably talk to her into it. Okay. What about you? No. No. For the man, no. Okay. No. No. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. You think it is negotiable? Okay. You yeah. think it, you think it's negotiable? No. It's not negotiable. Mm -mm. Okay. No. Okay. Wow. Okay. You thought she was feeling you? <laughs> <laughs> no. Okay. So go ahead. Okay. So and then wait one one more thing. Your question again was what? Just so I make sure we have everything before the question we was, was it was it was because uh, you um, you did ask a good question. I asked if the sex you, keep a if guy? you believe that me, if we'll go around the table on that one, which is why I wanted to do that. Start here and work our way back. What, do you think what? sex keeps a man? It's one factor. Okay. The biggest one. <laughs> to clarify, yeah, how, uh, is is it an important is it uh, is it a, um, an important factor or a critical factor? Yeah, I would say so. Yeah. Okay. Uh, you said no, right? Um, it's definitely a critical factor, but it is not the only factor, and it is not the only reason that someone should stay with you, because that's not a relationship. So you're saying in a relationship mm -hmm. can't exist without it. Hmm? You, you're saying a relationship can exist without it. Without sex. Yeah, without the guy um, getting what are you, uh, getting sex. If that's decided on both ends and they're both comfortable with that, then no, yes, only on the only on the female side is being decided. No, then. then it won't work, right? Right. Okay. What about you? Do you think it could work on the other side for the guy and the girl not getting sex? Out of just your opinion? Um. So the girl wants to smash, but he don't. No. You don't think it will work on that side either? Okay. What about you? I think it keeps a man around. Not saying the relationship's going to be good, but it'll keep a man like, you know what I'm saying? Like He could have sex with you and another person, but he's still going to be around you. Okay. So you think it is needed? Yeah. Okay. To keep, around, yeah. to keep a man around. I think it's a critical factor. It is needed? It's the most important thing to me. We're asking for the guy, though. For the guy, it should be as well. Okay. Yes. 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 It's critical. Definitely. Absolutely. For the guy? Okay. And the two ladies on the couch? Yeah, I think it's important, but it shouldn't be like the only reason to be with somebody. Okay. Yes. Now, one more time around. Do you think it's as critical for the woman? Starting with me? Yeah. I don't think it's as critical, but I think we also want it. Okay. <laughs> uh, yeah, I agree with her. I think the same not as important but you want it yeah it's a need it's a want versus a need for y'all yes. mm, uh, i wouldn't go that far <laughs> i wouldn't depending be in a on relationship the relationship that we didn't okay but well, you literally just said the relationship can last without it which means it's 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 i can go probably like longer without it than the uh, okay yes for both yes i want it and so do they <laughs> all right okay all right but is it okay is it as important for the for the female to want that sex is for the guy for me yes it's very important for you yeah but in general in general i feel like it is yeah okay what about you yeah i think most women want sex okay they want but, to be pleased yeah no, i understand that but is it as important as it is for the guy that's my question i don't know about anybody else but for me it is okay all right so you don't know anyone okay because you have no female friends right okay what about you um yes i think it is Okay, you think it is. What about you? I don't think it's as important for the female. Men are wired to first, they want sex all the time. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yes. It is as important. Yeah. Okay. That's the most important for me. Not for uh, ladies. <laughs> I'm sorry for women, in, but in, in I gen can't... Yeah, in general, not yourself. For me. Because sex drives very wildly within women. So that's why I'm saying in general. I think it's important. Okay. What about you? I think it's very important for women too. Is it as critical as for the man? If not more. Oh, if not more, you think? <laughs> yes. Yeah. We agree. Interesting. <laughs> okay, what about you? No, I think it's way more critical for men. Yeah. yeah. What about you? I agree. Uh, with her? Okay. Mm -hmm. What about you? No, I don't think it's as important to okay. women. To women? All right. No. What about you? Go ahead, Fresh. Take Yo, so uh, this whole time... I was Very thinking... interesting uh, conversation. Yeah. Yeah. Very good uh, answers here. This whole time I was thinking, though, bro, like, she had done sex in a month and a half. And I don't know what, what's getting to my head, but I'm like, bro... There's only two reasons she might not have one of sex with, with the guy. One, she got STD, uh, STD that was willing, waited to clear. <laughs> or or hasn't has it cleared. <laughs> or two, she is not feeling him no more and he's a munch. But who did it. she get the STD from? Him? Somebody else. Oh, okay. <laughs> so, so, like, she's, she's really cheating, I think, in, in my head. But a month and a half, bro, that's weird because, like, what is she doing during that period of time? What is he doing? So, like, exactly. it, don't, it don't make sense. Yeah. So, and one more thing. 
we don't negotiate with terrorists, so that's an L. <laughs> yeah, um, Contre, uh, it was kind of half and half with the table here. Yeah. Um, unfortunately, guys, sex is not negotiable with women at all, ever. Um, you're not going to talk your way into the pussy like, hey, I'll take out the trash on this day, and then you could give me box on this day. Nope. Like, that's just not the way it works. Like, um, <laughs> girls are very emotionally driven, and what that means is that you need to make them feel a certain way before they want to have sex with you. Like, it's 100% not negotiable on their end, because women go off of how they feel, not necessarily what's real. So that's number one. Also, I agree with a couple of the girls at the table. She is 100% cheating on you. And what I mean by that is she's either A, entertaining someone else and talking to him, getting that emotional stimuli from that individual, and and or B, she's already having sex with him. One of those two, two things are going on. Mm -hmm. um, and then the other thing I was going to say as well is that I know some of the ladies here said that, you know, oh, well, if a guy's not having sex with me or whatever, you know, it's very important for women. I would argue no. It's, it's Sex is far more important for men because men don't ask for much from women, but women ask a lot more of men. So therefore, since men only typically ask for sex and physical intimacy, that's the main thing. It has way more weight. For a girl, you can stimulate her in other ways. Women like emotional stimulation, feeling romance, etc. You don't necessarily have to fuck a girl to give her romance. However, for a man, he's got to fuck to, to truly be satisfied. A woman could be satisfied emotionally through other means. Like in other words, let's say a guy isn't the most attractive. He can make up for in other ways. But if a girl's ugly, it's a fucking rap because if uh, because women, their predominant value comes from their sexuality. For men, we can make up in other regards. Now, are there some girls that might have higher sex drives that it's unacceptable, like some of the ladies here at the table? Sure. But I would argue uh, that there is a considerable amount of women that are OK with um, with being satisfied in other ways where sex is not as high on the total pole for them versus if you took the average guy, it's going to be far higher on the total pole for them. Yeah, It's more mental for, for women, at least. Yeah. So. Yeah. So, um, so, yeah, bro, what, what's really going on here more than likely is um, and I know you mentioned, oh, I'm six foot and I drive this, blah, blah, blah. Who cares? You lost frame, bro. That's what happened in the relationship. You lost frame. She's not attracted to you anymore. She doesn't respect you because when a girl truly respects you and loves you, she's going to have sex with you even when she doesn't feel like it because she's scared that you might replace her. Yes. And this might be a controversial take, but this is exactly why I tell you guys you need to be seeing multiple women. And even if you're in a relationship, you should have multiple girls. And I'll tell you why. I know it sounds crazy and unor unorthodox, but. Anytime a woman is in a position of power sexually, she's going to get turned off by that, guys. You need to be in the position of uh, power when it comes to uh, sexuality and having the leverage because when a girl has the leverage, she starts to feel bored. Mm -hmm. The only way girls get, girls need to feel uh, stimulated and excited. And the best way to stimulate a woman naturally is her seeing you with other women, knowing and reaffirming in her brain, I'm with a winner. Or her girls need to see it. Or I want to say, imagine they're oh, yeah. somebody else. Why, why is he home at this time? Is he in yeah. the gym? Is he with somebody else? Damn it. <laughs> Come home already. I want to fuck. Yeah. Like women need aff women need constant affirmation that girls like you. Men need constant affirmation that their girl doesn't like other guys. Yeah. Burn that into your brain. That's, guys. Good. That's good. That's how you got to look at it. Mm -hmm. Like women need to guys get turned on by girls that are not around the opposite gender. Women get turned on by guys that are with the opposite gender. That's just how it goes, man. That's how we're wired. They did this study with chimps where they took a dude chimp, right? And they put him in front of two female chimps. They curved him. But when you put him with a female chimp, Right. And put them in front of other female chimps. The female chimps like them. And before all the ladies at the table, what the fuck? We're not chimps. Chimps are the closest primate to human beings by far. So they have a lot of the same mating practices that we do. So women are inherently attracted to men that have other women. And this is why I tell y'all, don't be fucking monogamous, man. It, 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 or, or at least don't, don't make it like don't actually pretend that you're not like act like you're not. Right. Even if you want to be monogamous, you better not act like it, because once girls get comfortable, they start to misbehave. They stop giving you sex. They start saying stupid shit like, why are you counting? Blah, blah, blah. She should be jumping on you to keep you from cheating on her. That's how it should be. That's how you know that you got a good relationship when the girl's chasing your validation. But when this shit, you're trying to ask for sex, you already lost, bro. You can't negotiate the shit. SL. Yeah. So, um, yeah, some of the ladies here are aware, though. I mean, any any thoughts on that? On my little thing there? Disagree, you were agree, your head thoughts, saying whatever. No. Yeah. Okay, go I ahead, please. Been. What are your disagreements? I have a disagreement, a large disagreement. Uh huh. Go ahead. Oh, I was just gonna say, if you're like running around town with a bunch of other girls, I'm leaving you. I might like yell at you first, but then I'm leaving you. So <laughs> just so you know, I think some maybe the female chimps are turned on by that, but not me. <laughs> okay. Well, here's the difference, though. So you're here. You know what's gonna happen, though? You'll leave him, but you're gonna get drunk, and 2 a.m. you're gonna call him. No, I. I I'm not. I'm gonna. I I have. I, I like the ones that are good to me. Like my. I go off my my parents' relationship. I go off the ones. That when are were your parents me. married? Thirty years ago. Do you think women are still the same? There is they are thirty years ago. I mean, biology doesn't change that much, and and. You're right, but times have right. Yeah. 
So I would, are, would it be fair to say that women are hardwired to look for the best man that they can get? Yeah, but I don't want one that cheats on me. But women are hardwired to get the best man that they can get, right? I yeah, we're using so. that biology yes, back yes, on yeah, you, yeah, right? Yeah. So yeah, once since, they get that, sorry, once they get that man, yeah. then they're monogamous to that man. Yeah. Yes. That's what yeah, I'm that's saying. What, that's what we're saying. It's women are monogamous to, okay. No, amazing. she's saying that she wouldn't be attracted to a guy that has options like that. She's saying that she uh, would leave him. Who's sleeping with his right. options? But but, uh, but I argue that that's cool. You would leave him, but you would contact him when you want sex down the road if you're drunk or you're horny or whatever. You're going to contact him for sexual activity, which no, is what I'm trying to say. I just find one that treats me better, and then I contact that one. <laughs> yeah, here's the problem with that. That sounds great in theory, but you know what else sounds great in theory? Communism. And we know we saw how that worked out for the Soviets. That Like, oh, that guy, he treats me better. Guys that treat women well in general, nice guys don't do well. And you get bored. And you get bored. Like this guy guaranteed probably treats his girl well, which is exactly why she hasn't had sex with him in three and a half months. What? Almost too well. That's why I'm coming out with a book. Women deserve less. Y'all think I'm kidding around with this shit. Uh, you guys can call it misogyny or whatever it may be. Uh, my thing is this. Misogyny. Right. And there's it, it's the trigger. It's a triggering title. But the reason why is because when you give women less, they pursue more. And when women pursue for more, that's when you get the best treatment and behavior out of your girlfriend. Because when women have leverage, they will punish you for it. I'm telling y'all, man, women want a guy that they can't control. That's what they really want. They'll say, oh, I want to go ahead and change him. Women get into a relationship hoping they can change you. Never fucking change. Let them continue to hope that, that, that let them continue to think that they can, but they never will. Do not change from the guy that she found, fell in love with in the first place. Yeah, the guy that's, that's the problem with a lot of you niggas. You guys yeah. change when you get a girl. You get fat. You stop being on your mission. You stop being on your purpose. You start watching more TV. You start doing bitch shit. You start eating ice cream with her and watching <laughs> rom-coms. All this fucking weirdo shit. Crying. You got to be the same fucking guy she was attracted to in the beginning. And that is why so many guys get broken up with because they lose frame. They forget who the fuck they were. They acclimate to what the woman wants. She says, go shop with me. No. Let's go do this. No. I'm going to continue to do the same fucking things that we did that made you attract to me in the first place. Misogyny. You can't change. You can't. And I know some of you guys probably have something for that, but uh, Misogyny. go ahead. I'll turn it to the ladies. I think we all, as human nature, men and women, mm -hmm. want what we can't have. You know, that's kind of like when women get in a relationship, all the dudes that, you know, you've been wanting so bad and have been curving you now that they want you because you're in a relationship. So I feel like Merch. It, it's <laughs> I feel like it's Merch. vice versa. We well, let's all be honest. It's not vice versa. Do those men actually want you or do they desire you? I think it's a desire. Okay. So men will fuck anything. So what value, value does that have? Touche. <laughs> Touche. <Yeah. laughs> <laughs> and I think, I think that's, and then I'm really glad you brought that up because um, a lot of modern day women conflate desire with actual true attraction. Mm -hmm. Those guys just want to have sex. This is very true. They, they don't necessarily want to commit to you. So um, and I think that's one of the biggest mistakes girls make is like, I have all these options. All these guys are hitting me up, blah, blah, blah. And they kind of like let that, that, that attention is fleeting. Oh yes. Look at this. I got all these options. The reality is you have a bunch of sexual options, which doesn't take skill. You just got to exist and breathe as a woman to get that type of attention, have some pictures on Instagram. You're going to get guys. So is it worth leaving a guy that actually turns you on as attractive and fulfills other needs? I think. Having... Is it that big of a deal? Him having sex with other girls? Yeah, it is. I think really? having dick management is very important. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And I would, that's what you should teach my son too. You shouldn't just be out here slanging it to the town. Like, no, <laughs> having good dick management is very important. And that's what's attractive to me as a woman. <laughs> if I know like not every woman has had you, okay, yeah, I'm really? ready. Yeah. But the fact that everybody has had you and everybody can say they sleep with you and they know what your dick looks like, nah. All right, let's play mm -hmm. this game. Yeah. Let's play this game with you. I love dick you. management. <laughs> Hilarious <laughs> let's say you meet a guy right man of your dreams let's say six four tall good looking nice mm -hmm. teeth tall dark handsome whatever you like it tall dark light whatever you like mm -hmm. right and you guys have been dating for a while and you know you, he plans a, a trip to turks and caicos with you right that's where y'all met right so he takes you back there on your five-year anniversary mm -hmm. and you're like oh shit i think he's gonna propose mm -hmm. fuck and you know all of a sudden, right, he goes to the gym. Hey, babe, I know we just landed. I got to go to the gym because he's real disciplined. That's what you like about him. Mm -hmm. He goes to the gym. But he leaves his fucking phone, right? And then you hear a fucking, <laughs> hmm, what's that? Strange. Look at the phone. And you know his code. You've been a little bit nosy. You go in there and you see uh, a text message from a girl. And you're like, what the fuck? And then you open that message and you see a video, porn video from maybe 10 years, 15 years prior mm -hmm. of him having sex with three girls. Okay. Mm -hmm. So on porn site, are you, and he comes back later on that day and he proposes to you. 
Are you going to turn down that proposal? This was 10 years ago? Yeah. No. You wouldn't, right? Fantastic. Now let's switch it around to the guys. <laughs> you find her having sex with dudes on a porn hub, etc., and you were going to commit to that girl. What are we doing, guys? Of Shit. course not. <laughs> She's not getting no fucking ring, right? Hell Shit. no. Hell no. I'm out of there. Yeah. <laughs> So the, the, main, the point of that That's demonstration, hold on. The point of that demonstration was to describe that men have a very strong interest in a woman's sexual past. A woman, however, does not have a very strong interest in a man's sexual past. So this dick management stuff is a bunch of cap because women like guys that can't have sex with men, and is, uh, sorry, with girls, not men. And that's not necessarily a deal breaker. Hey, yo. But for a man, it is a deal breaker. So when girls say dick management, blah, 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 it's not critical like it is for us. I think that's because men can't handle what they dish out. That's the way Just it should be, though. Example, well, like... well, but but that here's the thing that saying that men should be able to handle what they dish out assumes that men and women are equal. Are men and women equal? To care about something from ten years ago is like. <laughs> but but that's what I'm trying to tell you. Like men, do you think men and women are equal, or we're the same? No, we're very different. So we're would it be fair different. to say we're we get we get triggered and turned on and off by separate things, mm -hmm. in many ways opposite things. Agree. Okay, so you can't say that men can't take what they dish out when we know that we're inherently unequal. We're very different. I'd act, I would argue we're the complete opposites. So of course, men can't take out what they dish because they're attracted to someone who isn't necessarily like them. I would gotcha, say bitch. complete <laughs> opposites. I would say like more so inverses of each other. You Which know, is like a fan, another way of saying up, down, opposite. No, I feel like where you guys are different, it's where you like strengthen each other. I feel like that's where. All right, let's, let's call it spade a spade. Since the beginning of time, promiscuity in women has never been championed and or respected. Men have always had issues with it. This is, yes. So agreed. so we are very different. So that's why men are not going to be able to dish it. So you're telling me you... I'm sorry, accept, they are not going to accept it. Sorry. You have been dating your girl for however long, five years. You yeah. take her to Turks and Caicos. Mm -hmm. You open up her phone and you've seen something from 10 years ago. You're calling it off. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Like dead ass. Yeah. You've already, dad, this is what I'm doing. Like this, this, you're calling it off. Let me ask you another question then. <laughs> One more time. Another dream scenario to make so this all makes sense. Let's say you go to a fortune teller. Mm. That man of your dreams, you find out five years from now, he's going to be broke. No, no, no ability to provide security for alcoholic. you. Alcoholic. He's going to become an alcoholic. Would you stay with him now that you're armed with this information? No. Fantastic. <laughs> <laughs> Women are interested in a man's future. A man is interested in a woman's past. Gotcha, bitch. Okay. So that's the difference. We are completely opposite in the way we view the opposite gender, the way we view sex, the way we view relationships. There's a masculine and a feminine. There are things that men can do that women can't and vice versa. We are not equal whatsoever. So a man that can have sex with a lot of girls is a higher status guy and brings value to some degree. He's doing something right. A woman that has sex with a lot of dudes has no value because she's wasted it on a bunch of dudes. But yeah. you can have I, sex with any girl that's willing to have sex with you. So how does that bring value? How how does that make you valuable if you don't respect your penis? You no, can't. Because, because here's the difference. Women are consistently and overwhelmingly underestimate how difficult it is to attract the opposite gender as a man. Even th the most promiscuous of women have standards. Yeah. You guys might think she's the biggest hoe ever. She's still going to have a standard to some degree. A lot of these big, like, you know, OnlyFans 304s. Huh? Isn't that scary for you guys? Like, to not know... You're, you're going out... Where, like, where are you finding this woman? I know it's harder for, for men to get women than it is for women to get men. I get that. Yeah. But you're going out and you don't know who she's been with. You don't... I mean, there's STDs. There's, like... There's promiscuity with, with these women that you're having sex with. No, and but you're you're missing they, the point that sex is not as easy for men to come by as it is for for women. A, a guy that has right. sex with girls is doing something right. Right, I get that, but it doesn't make it right, right, for you to have a girl at home and then go out and have sex with all of these women. Like, why are we? Why are we well, placing value? Well, on that? well, relationships and sex and relationships, it, like like the mating process is amoral by nature. It's not meant to be fair. It's not meant to be moral. It's not meant to be any of that stuff. We're here to reproduce. And unfortunately, there are unflattering realities in the reproduction right. process. And if we're here to reproduce, then are you reproducing with all of these women that you're having sex with? No, but you're still that's the point. You're right? still copulating because that is the act to reproduce. So you're still hardwired to do it because that is what leads to creating offspring. Like this is why men's sex drive is so much higher than women in general. We're not covering morale if it's right or wrong. We're just saying this what, is what guys, it is. What guys are actually gonna do. So 
I, I think for women, if you know your guy has options to do things, but you don't see it in your face, it's okay. For example, like, okay, he's successful, he's good looking, girls want him, but I don't see it in my face. All right. But if you see your face, you're like, oh, hell no, nigga. Now you're, just, now you're like telling me to my face that I ain't worth shit. So I think if it's kind of behind closed doors, it's, it's okay. I think a woman that's okay with that is, mm. um, is either not sexually attracted to you and she's okay mm. with you going out and having sex with other women mm. or she doesn't place value on sex. So she inherently is probably a hoe herself. I think that a woman that's okay with her dude going out with, and and I agree with majority of what you guys talk about, but not this like I mean, not monogamy I, well, type the, the, thing. Well, yeah. you're you're making the fatal flaw of thinking that you have the leverage when you're with a certain caliber of man. It's, it's when you're when you if you're with a winner, you you don't make that decision anymore. That's on the guy. Take it or leave it. He's gonna have sex with other girls. You want to be the main or you want to be by yourself? So winner. So are are we talking? What type of winner are we talking about? Are we talking about Chris Brown or like? What? I mean, a higher status guy in general. I mean, hell, even average guys gonna cheat on you anyway. So it's like, true. men are only as faithful as their options. Because I would argue, right, that most women, like like you said, would probably find a problem with that because they're not in. Well, if they're into you, they don't want that to happen. But my thing is, if you leave that guy cheating on you, right, you go somewhere else, he gonna cheat too. So it's kind of like, where are you going? You go and leave a guy that loves you, cares about you, taking care of you, to another guy that's going to cheat. Like, you're not really winning in that scenario. So it's like, if the guy's caring for you, why leave? Yeah. I mean, this is all to come back full circle. Where we started this conversation was he's basically with a girl that he's been with for three years. She hasn't yeah. had sex with him in a month and a half. I'm saying to be able to gain some kind of frame back, you need to maintain your attraction. And the only way you do that a lot of the times is by three pre-selection, other girls finding you attractive. So I'm not saying you got to go out and cheat on her, bro, or have sex with other girls. But you need to be able to show that you can. That's very important. Girls need to constant reminder that they're with a winner. They need to see other girls attracted to you. They need to feel anxiety. And uh, and when girls aren't comfortable, that's when you get the best treatment out of them. Sorry, that's just how it is. Um, Any, if, so, you're so go gonna, if you're going to um, be in that position to have options, yeah. um, you shouldn't have to go looking for those options. As a man? You should just have those options. Like, girls should come to you. If that's the type of person that you are where you know you're – you're a breadwinner. You're you're top of the top. Why are you looking for those options? Why well, do you need guys still to have go... to put work in regardless? But like ladies, you, you gotta to you go... gotta understand that women rarely, if ever, approach men, and the most beautiful women never approach men. So, uh, you're still gonna have to put in work. You're gonna have to initiate the conversation. Maybe it'll be easier. She won't give you as much of a headache, which we're gonna actually get into this topic here in a second. She'll make it easier for you, but you still have to initiate to some degree. As it, a man, it kind of seems like you're admitting that you can't pull girls. Okay, you know what? Let me ask you a question so I have your basis. On. Let me, let me, because here's the thing. Uh, I want to see where this com where this is coming from. What, um, let's say, what do you, what, what percentage of guys? Uh, sorry, what percentage of women do you think guys are closing that they talk to? That that they're what? Let's say you take an attractive guy. Okay. You know, charismatic, charming, etc. He talks to ten girls. How many of them do you think he's actually going to close and have sex with? Mm, probably half. <laughs> I'd say maybe four. Four. Let's go around the table on this. What do you think? Out of 10? Yeah. Uh, out of 10. Charming, charismatic, good looking guy, great on paper. He talks but to 10 girls. How many of them is he going to sleep of, with? It depends on what type of girl he's going after, but probably like three, four. Think three? Three or four? What about you? You said you said how many? Four? I said four. What about you? I think all 10 if he can. Okay. What about <laughs> you? Yeah, you said he has everything going on, like yep. checks it. I feel like all 10. All 10. All right. Mm. What about you? Zero. Z <laughs> He's not going to close. You don't think he's going to close any of them? Mm -hmm. Okay. All 10. Or like two. Two. I'll say all 10. Probably around like half. At Five? least half. Okay. Yeah, I would say half too. Okay. Couch? Uh, from experience, I think all 10. All 10? Sure. Okay. Sure. <laughs> sure. Uh, sure. What about you, Miss Cleveland? Uh, probably half. Like five. No, that's, that's very <laughs> revealing. Great. All right, ladies, if you take a world-class guy that is good enough to teach this stuff at a seminar level, he is closing only one out of 10 of those girls, 10%. 10% is considered God tier status. And the reason why I asked that question, because I wanted to kind of see where your guys' minds at to see what an actually attractive guy can get. Yes, it is much harder than you think. 10% is considered God tier. You can teach this shit at an international level. You're the fucking man. Guys that are like, that document their, because their, there's guys out there that are pickup artists that document their stuff. Uh, Paul Jenka, eight uh, percent, and he's considered world class. I mean, think about it. Even wow. in your daily life, how many how many guys do you actually like reject? A lot, right? Instagram, in person, mm, all of them. they ain't getting yeah, chances. So it's like those niggas aren't getting laid. So they're trying really hard but, to cheat on their girl. 
No, no. We're just um, saying if it happens and, and the opportunity is there, it might happen where they actually take action. We're just saying, look, if you were the guy of, of means, he has options because he's around for people. He might meet them out in the public. And then, for example, is he going to say no? Probably not. It's to illustrate, I ladies. Respect if you said no. it's, it's to illustrate how difficult it is for men to get sex versus how easy it is for women to get sex. We're not the same. A man that can have sex, a lot of women is respected. A woman that has sex, a lot of dudes is admonished. It's very simple. Respected by men or women. He is. Right. He's respected by society in general. Other guys look up to him. Other women lust for him. That's just kind of how it is. Because it is extremely difficult for men to get a lot of girls. But it's very easy for a lot of girl, for girls to get a lot of guys. So it's just not the same. I just told you guys, world class closes one out of ten. Can Think about say, that for a second. I would respect a man to turn those options down, though. I would respect that more. Knowing that he has <laughs> options. <laughs> knowing, the cap. No, 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 that's fine. She's saying that. That's cool. Yeah. Knowing but, that he yeah. has options, cool. Uh huh. But for him to turn them down, that that would get more respect for me. Mm-hmm. And probably women yeah. here who yes. have respect for themselves. Of course we said it's giving insecure vibes. Hey. You know, I think this might be a perfect time for a certain analogy. Uh, candy store! Yeah, I think I might have to do it. because you, you know what? Uh, I'll say this real fast before I give this analogy. Um, privilege is visible to those that have it. And women have a privilege in dating that you guys don't even see and or recognize a lot of the times. So I'll go ahead and give you guys an analogy real fast. We're going to go into a dream world. Remember so this is a million dollar, a million, guys, put some million, million, in the million subscriber thing. I haven't used this emoji in, uh, emoji. I haven't used this uh, analogy in, <laughs> in months. Uh, so, okay, ladies, we're in a dream scenario here, okay? There's a candy store, all right? And the ladies are invited to this candy store at 18 years old. They're allowed to go in and eat as, many ca- as much candy as they want. They can go into any aisle, you know, uninterrupted whatever. And after being in this candy store for a while, you start to figure out what you like and what you don't like, right? You got to figure out Tootsie Rolls are disgusting. Pink Starburst is the best. Sour Patch Kids are okay. Candy Corn is strange. You figure out all these different kinds of candies, what you like, what you don't like. You start to hang out in these aisles, right? The men, however, are not allowed to go into this candy store until they're 35 years old, have $100,000 saved, and been to the gym consistently for five years. So as you can see, there ends up being a line wrapped around the fucking candy store to get in this bitch, all right? So, 17 years passes. All those 18-year-old guys that you were peers with, guess what? They get in that fucking store, all right? But guess what? Only five of them are allowed at a time into this candy store. So they run in. They're going fucking wild. They're swinging on rafters. They're going nuts. The dudes in the back, are, uh, in the line, seeing them through the window are cheering them on. Yeah, yeah let's, let's you go. fucking got it, man. And the girls are like, what the fuck is wrong with these guys? Like, what? The, have y'all never seen candy before? What the hell? They're picking up Tootsie Rolls that you threw away 10 years ago and shit. They're going crazy. <laughs> eat candy corn. Sorry, ranchers. They're going nuts. And then you look at him and you say, yo, what the fuck is wrong with you? And he looks you in the face and he goes, how the hell are you going to tell me how many pieces of candy I can eat when you got in here for free and I had to bust my ass to get in here? Candy management. <laughs> <laughs> you need that. You need that. You know? <laughs> And that's what I'm trying to say. Women don't have to work to get into the candy store. So therefore, you cannot tell someone who had to work to get into the candy store how much candy they should eat. So you think that Perfect. for guys to have sex, to get sex from women, that they have to be a certain age. They have to have a certain amount of money. They have to look a certain way. No, they don't necessarily have to. But having these things working together for you in tandem significantly increases your chances. I agree. But so let's let's go back to what you were talking about earlier Mm -hmm. with women needing to be mentally stimulated. Mm -hmm. So work on that. Find a way (laughs) to mentally stimulate the women without needing to be, you know, because there's several men. If you go on the Internet, like you can see girls talking about, oh, like my ex is broke. My ex has a little dick. Uh Okay, okay. so clearly, you know, he's not that guy with a certain age that all that money you know that status so what is what are the people that can't get sex what are you guys doing wrong but if you notice right you just said it yourself they're complaining that he's broke he's this and that and they're leaving so he can't even retain that girl we're just saying for longevity itself have it together so when you you meet, meet the girl you have game you're successful you're good looking on some level and you can actually maintain that girl so the guys that are broke, we get it. They might get laid here and there, but then they're gonna leave eventually. So it's it's a L. And 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 they and here's the thing: there are some girls that won't fuck with you unless you have money. Period. Yeah. No matter how handsome you are. Yeah. So what That's I tell true. guys is you need to have your money on point. 
uh, be a, you know, have your shit together, have experience. The reason why I said 35 is typically you're going to be more experienced, more mature. Women value experience yeah. from men, right? So Older guys. I'm just using it as an yeah. analogy. But the point I'm trying to make, ladies, is I find it funny that girls say dick management. And I respect the guy more when he doesn't have sex with girls and all this other cap stuff. When in reality, you guys never had to work to get into the candy store. So you can't tell someone that had to work to get into the candy store how much candy they can eat. But after we ate all that candy, we felt like crap. So we're going to tell you <laughs> to not eat all that candy. Oh, you know what? Oh, oh, that, oh, you know what? Let's oh, have fun with that. So we've learned from our lesson, right? Okay, but here, here's, let's have <laughs> I mean, fun with this. Maybe then. Let's have fun with this. Who chose to eat the candy? <laughs> We chose to eat the candy Fantastic. and we're, we're telling you with our knowledge that after we ate the candy, we are, we have to go to the gym more. We have diabetes, all of these ne negative impacts on our lives from eating all of that candy. Why would you want to put yourself in that? Here's situation? the difference. Men, our stomachs can last with the candy longer. What do I mean by this? <laughs> Women have a finite amount of time to mate and have children and be at their prime. Men, we can eat candy longer than y'all. So why would you be wasteful though with your calories? Because we have more time. Yeah. You have to be precious with the kind of candy you eat and getting the best candy you can in that time. Women, they have their clock is between, you know, 18 to 29 is your prime years. But wouldn't you tell them to just go for like, I don't know, the, the Twix and like only only the high caliber candy? No, because they can eat the candy and they're not going to gain weight. They'll well, be fine. They, 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 their ability to eat candy for a longer duration exceeds yours because men are different. We have a much larger time clock to to have sex. We could bust us the day we die. You can only have eggs or sorry, have children until about. 35 really Children realistically doesn't speaking equate, that's not every woman's goal though sometimes it's just sex it's the like exact reason why a, we're put on earth though but i feel like women Merch. have an inclining sex drive and men only have a declining sex drive most men after the age 35 can't even get it up without a pill meanwhile <laughs> after menopause like we're still Speak hot for morning. yourself <laughs> then, well, here's the thing the reason why a woman's sex drive goes up as she gets older is because she becomes less sexually desirable to the opposite gender as she ages so therefore, she must comply with a man's sexual needs to some degree because she is no longer in the same strong negotiating position when she was at her peak when she was younger and firmer. Mm, this is indisputable. Men are universally attracted to women that are uh, youthful and uh, and fertile. So 18 to 24 eating, is the peak years. You're, was eating, that? you're eating candy corn? I think you're reading a little bit too much into the analogy. <laughs> uh, I, 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 the but, youthful, but, but the point I'm trying to make is that like the candy corn is the equivalent to guys will fuck anything. Exactly. But they're gonna have their favorite candy. Okay. I'll try candy corn. Realize I don't like it. Maybe have it every Halloween. But I'm still gonna go to my go-to, which is gummy worms. On a slow Tuesday, I mean, shit, it's it's available. Yeah, I'll take it. You get what I'm okay. saying? So that's that's really what it comes down to. Does that analogy make sense, though, ladies? Is it, it, you don't have candy to like star, it, but you it's, understand it. It's a great it. analogy, but I still just I feel like women, our sex March. drive is just it's going up and men's is declining. So well, I feel like we we have more time. Okay, we well, may not be able to pop babies out. You know, let's have, have fun have with time. that again. You know, just use your logic against you. I'll tell you, an 18 year old sex drive is extremely high. Should he be getting laid? You said, should he be getting? Yeah, laid? got an 18 year old boy. Uh -huh. his, his his he's living at home with his mom. He a bum. He ain't got no money. But his sex drive is high. He should be getting laid, right? Yeah. But he's so, not. <laughs> but he would. Why? Why is he not? He's, I mean, you're young. You should be out there. You should be outside. Why are you not? Yeah, yeah but that's he's, a but, question. But, Why are but you But they're not? not. One in three men in that age group isn't having sex. Um, there's more, there's a record amount of virgins right now. Why is that? Because they're fat. I actually didn't know that. Because yeah. of social media and the internet. Well, that's a part of it. But the, what I'm trying to say is that, other? like, I'm just basically taking your argument. You're saying, mm -hmm. oh, women that are 35 and menopause, like, their sex drive is high. And who cares? They're older. Their value is diminished. Just like an 18-year-old guy. They're horny. They wake up with morning wood all the time. Like, they should be getting late. No, no one cares about them because they don't bring any value no to value. a woman. Yeah. They don't have jobs. They don't have careers. They don't have experience. They don't have no shit. Nothing to their name. So who cares if they're horny? Who cares if Wait, older chicks are can horny? I, can I say something? Isn't yeah, the average sure. age to lose your virginity for men, like, 17.1? years old and women's is younger it's younger yes yeah. yes yeah what is it it's like six i think it was 16 women, or 16 something like that something? 16 15 yeah so they're getting laid maybe not as much though in the beginning but if that's the average i mean age. women are overwhelmingly getting laid more than guys but i guarantee it you two yeah but here's the difference it does take two you're right but guess what a majority of the women are having sex with a small percentage of the men that's true and most of them are older by the way yeah so an 18 year old guy, right, that that lives with his mom can't compete with a 35 year old guy that has his own money and ability. He, he, that guy can date down a girl that's 18. That's that guy's peer. Yeah, that dude cannot compete with the older guy. And women are OK with dating up and dating up in age. Yes, but to a certain extent, like 
not the age gaps can't be too big is what i'm also saying like guys have a clock but like they're they have a guys have less of a clock but they still have a clock well here, here's a here's a difference a guy that if he takes care of himself and he goes to the gym has money together whatever it doesn't matter he'll he'll be able to get a, a 50 year old guy if he takes care of himself can easily pull a 21 year old and he could pull multiple of those 21 year olds should we remind me we say all the time 21 yes i mean yeah, yeah yes. but there's probably another 21 year old knocking off her boots too let's be honest like mm. He's not. He's not I mean, delivering. I mean, she's probably with him for like the money, but it's not like. Yeah, it's a sugar daddy problem. I mean, yeah, it doesn't change like the a... fact that women overwhelmingly want someone who's better than them in almost every regard, and men are okay with accommodating women with that, but it doesn't work the other way around. So what I'm trying to say is that no one cares about older women. Mm, I just and just like just like no one cares There's about some older men women out here that like cougars or oh, like, yeah, like for sex are... only. <laughs> yeah, yeah, for, for sex yeah. only, man. Like yeah. just like no one cares about eighteen-year-old guys that wake up with morning wood every morning. No one cares about older women growing a mustache or menopause. Who cares? <laughs> Misogyny. See, when I say something about eighteen-year-olds being useless, no one bats an eye. But when yep. I say older women are useless too, oh my god, that's so misogynistic. It's realistic. They have no biological value for society. They can't birth children. They're older. Their values diminish. Just like a young guy, he hasn't created his value. He's a bum. He lives with his mom. Can't create excess resources. He's useless to society, right? Well, Men got to create their value. Women are born with value. And once again, he might smash here and there, but longevity won't be there as well. He can't maintain her. Am I saying older women don't deserve relationships and shit? No. But what I am saying is that from a biological sense, they're useless to society. Yeah. If we're going to say that, just like an Aetion is useless to society to some degree until he b becomes a man and learns how to create resources and provide for others and, you know, learns leadership, all these things. Long story short, Masagi. niggas got to eat candy. That's it. <laughs> okay. All right. Anything else before I... More chats? No? All right. Yeah, okay. More chats. Uh, And then... Chris, that was a good little segment right there. 15 up, right? From after her, yeah. You know what? Here, I got, let, me, let me go into my first question for the ladies real cool. fast. All right. So we're going to segue... And I'll start with uh, Miss 50 next to me. Have you ever been on a date uh, with a guy you didn't like and or had zero interest in having sex with? No. Come on, man. Mm -hmm. I wouldn't waste even my time. Even for a coffee, even for a no, meetup. I, I would not waste I would I would not waste my time. Never. Never. If, a dinner if there date. was no if there was no intention on anything further than that, no. I don't No, but I'm just saying like cow. a first date, a first date. I've been on first dates where I don't want anything to do with them again but that's because of the interaction that we had on our first date but no i've never gone on a first date with no intention of it being more than just one date stop the cap all right not i don't believe that but that's fine all right what about you have yes. you is it yes? okay for us to be honest and Fair. not not, the not have the not have the cap <laughs> thing stop the cap. <laughs> <laughs> we're being honest okay, I, swear. okay. Uh, I mean okay uh, so you have okay you yes yeah. okay what about you? Yeah. Okay. That's cap. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Well, I mean, that's common uh, that girls go on a date with a guy they don't really like like that. Maybe free kidding. dinner, I know an experience. I know they're not capping, but I'm going to say they're capping. Okay. That's what you said I too. have, but I don't do that anymore. Okay. But you have? Yeah. No. I'm still. Yeah, kidding. I know. What about you? Yes. Yes. Yeah. Definitely. Uh, Miss Finland? No, I haven't. Never. Stop the cap. <laughs> Okay. Uh, I have when I was younger, but now that the stakes are higher with what people do after dates, I don't. Okay. Oh, your order. Uh, Miss Cleveland, let me ask you this. What does it take for a guy you don't like to get a date with you? Okay, I know the answer to this. <laughs> I mean, there is no answer. It's, it's, it's literally what you require, so it's individual to you. That's but I, I've thought about this. Um, so it has to be... Uh, an experience that I want to go on and uh, like to be honest I'm going more for the experience and then that's how you get to okay uh, so examples like include a... gifts trips examples experiences food, include... expensive food uh, um, maybe a location you otherwise would have never been able to afford yourself those are some examples I'm not going on a trip with you uh, if you're trying to sleep with me um, I'm not because News you're flash, any do... guy that talks to you is trying to sleep with you I've had paid trips that no one ever tried to sleep with me sponsored trips that no one ever tried to sleep with me um <laughs> But I've had, uh, I will go to sports games, especially if the seats are really good. Okay. Yeah, I'm sure. <laughs> so, all right. So, so you're saying, so for you, the predominant thing that they need to offer is an experience. Yeah. Okay. What about you, Miss Finland? I would say, I was about to say exactly the same as she did. Of if course you would. Yeah, of course. Okay. No, but if it was a good experience, so then, but otherwise, no. Okay. Um, so an experience. What about you? What does it take for you to go on a date with a guy you don't like? 
Well, it has to be a great experience to have to have it all planned out. Like maybe, hmm, maybe a cool picnic by the beach I would definitely go on. With a guy you don't like? Yeah. Wouldn't like, you be forced to interact and talk to him? It's a little romantic. Yeah, I mean, if they take me to the beach and have a little picnic set up, I think it's pretty cute. <laughs> okay. All right. Cool. Well, I mean, every girl's threshold is different. That's unique. Yeah. I would think if it's a guy you don't like, you wouldn't want to interact. But hey, girls love attention, so maybe that's what it is. All right. What about you? What what what, what does it take for a guy to take you uh, take you on a date that you don't like? I don't know because they have to have at least money to make it money. Fun. Money. Okay. And so do you want a do you want a gift or do you want uh something uh, they gotta pay you? No, I I rather experience rather than a gift. Okay. Make it fun. Like take me somewhere nice. Dubai. Okay. So yeah. it's got to be an experience that that uh, yeah, that is uh, that is expensive, and at least have some looks. Because if he's ugly, then I can't. Sorry. Sorry, fresh. Well, that's that's why I said that you don't like. You know what's funny about Chris telling me this? Know. He's rating a man. That's gay. Yeah. <laughs> what about you? What does it take to get on a, to get, uh, for a guy to get you on a date that you don't like? Um, it's all about experience. Something I haven't done before. Interesting. Something, yeah. yeah. He would have to provide me value. Something that I can't uh, give to myself, like knowledge or. Uh, experience okay um experience probably for sure okay i'd go to an art gallery with like anyone <laughs> <laughs> like not anyone but you know what i mean experience like taking me on a trip scares me like you're gonna go with somebody you don't like you don't know what they're capable of yeah i don't sure. trust you on a plane like i don't trust you traveling it's a lot that's a lot for I just don't understand girls taking flights places like with people they don't know. What I'm taking from that is the only thing a guy can take you out on that you don't like is an art date. The only thing I feel safe with like somebody I don't like is like something where I'm going to get intellectually stimulated. Art I, basil. No, that is not even remotely close to an art gallery, but that's okay. <laughs> Um, a real art gallery, like something in New York City. So they would have to take you to a real art gallery yeah. if you don't like them. Honestly. Because you said you've done it in the past, so no more expensive dinners or anything like that? The dinners are not it because you could still be a psychopath. Like, I've experienced that where I'm like, I have to go right now. Like, okay. So it's got to be an art gallery only. Something That's all you're going to take. Okay. Wait, but, but, all, uh, but Art Basel is the number one, you know, art event in the world. Art so. Basel is all cap. Actually, I was in Art Basel. I did a, a solo exhibit and I would never do it again because of how much money you spend mm. to be in the show. Well, I mean, I've been there for four years uh, in magazines and probably you suck. I don't know. But it's one of those things where <laughs> that's I, OK. Art hey, is I'm... subjective. And you probably would think my art sucks, but I mean, I'm yeah, let's completely. See it. You want to see some of my art? Yeah, sure. OK, we'll show you later then. Right. Okay. All right. Uh, okay, Chris. <laughs> interesting art discussion there. Not my field. Uh, what would it take for a guy that you don't like to get you on a date? Definitely the experience, not like a trip, but a nice dinner or I see a trend here. Club yeah. Hi, somewhere. <clears throat> I haven't been. OK. What about you? To be honest, I feel like it has to be like status, like who he is. Okay. If I'm being completely honest. And then like obviously like really great experience. But I feel like that is like the root of like why you're going on the date. Hmm. So if you don't like him, he's got to have bare minimum status. Like I'm saying if I don't completely like that person, well, if I'm not going to sleep with that person, I yeah. have no intentions with that yeah. person. And like physically it has to be like the status of the person 100 percent, like someone that's very like okay you know. do you think if you went on a date with someone of status they could change your your mind if it's a good experience if it was a great date i think that i think that comes down to like value you know what i'm saying like i feel like a lot of times you you can't just look at someone for how they look or whatever you know there's a lot like behind it of who they are so you would give it a chance yeah okay all right but status is your main thing. Because remember, the ladies, the question is explicit. What does it take for a guy you don't like to get a date? For you, it's status. Yeah, because it's what it's how to get to the date. I'm not talking about the date. I'm talking okay. like, you know, how to get, you know. So not even necessarily money. It's status. I feel like, yeah. I feel like, I mean. Because there's a bunch of TikTokers can... that got clout, but they're broke is an example. No, yeah, that's true. I'm talking about, like, I mean, I feel like status is also really subjective. You know what I'm saying? Like, I feel like you, March. what I find a status you know, is big to me. Someone else might look at that as, you know, so I think it comes down to like what you value and how you, you know, view status. Okay. I, I'll, I'll give you that. So, but it, for you, the status has got to be tied yeah, to finances. I, well, the question is, you know, what to get to the date. Like, okay. It, from but does the, the status have to be tied to finances to make this simple? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. All right. What about you? 
Um, I would say experience and also like as like the bare minimum, they have to be normal. Like they can't be creepy. Like <laughs> you know, like they can't be doing weird things yeah. like to put me off. Like I can't do that. But if they're normal at least and you know they're providing an experience where I feel like I'm gonna have a good time, then I'll go. Okay. What about you? Um first of Well I'm for gonna... you, you've never been on it, right? No, no, no. Well, I would first let him know that this is not a date. This is Okay. But I I would be down for like um one of those safari places where they have like those rescue monkeys and stuff. That's so cool. So question for you. Since since <laughs> since you're telling him so since you've never done it before and you're telling him straight up prior, yo, this is not a date, yeah. are you okay with splitting it half and half then? I would if, if I was splitting it half and half, I would go with somebody who I want to spend time with. Right. Okay. Exactly. okay. So you still expect them to pay? Yeah. <laughs> That's a conclusion. That's okay. a logical conclusion. Okay. Yeah. Yes, you expect them to pay. Yeah, but it's not a date. <laughs> exactly. So you expect them to pay. You, for, I'm uh, giving for you my hangout. time. Yes, I'm giving you my time, okay. and in return, you're gonna pay, bro. All right. Bruh. Listen, I'm not, I'm not, listen, I'm not attacking you for your thing. I'm just simply trying to like get. No, I know. Get, get, I, I don't feel attacked. Okay. Bruh. So all right. Bruh. So he's got it. He's got to pay. All right. Um. And for the art gallery. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So they got to pay for you too. You are not going half. No. So no, it's, it's now a, it's a paid experience that they yeah. want. Yeah, and then real You're quick, right. you know, since we're on this topic, um, would you go half in any of these experiences that you guys are talking about? Um, no, because if you're just asking yes or no, me, okay. okay, yeah, you will go half. I have before with the status guy. Oh, the Even status guy. Like oh no, not the status guy. Yeah, I'm talking about. Uh, okay, let me re say the question one more time no. so this makes sense. Would you, are you willing to go half on this experience with this guy that you don't like? No, oh, no. no? No, no for you. I would go by myself. Okay. All right. All right. Fair no. enough. No? No. Okay. What about y'all two? No. No. Would you go half? Okay, you wouldn't. All right. Now, let's switch it up real quick. <laughs> what does it take for uh what does it take for you to go on a date with a guy that you do like or lack thereof in this case? Maybe you don't need anything to go on a date with him. We'll start right here. A guy that you actually do like. He what does it take? He can't be vaccinated. <laughs> okay. no, that is very, like, that's like my, specific. no that's my number one so yeah. however i have to get that out of him like oh did work have to get you did you have to get vaccinated for work and it's a no automatically interesting okay um what the fuck? <laughs> okay <laughs> you already asked the best questions like yo nigga real quick you ask <laughs> going on a damn date with you nigga okay so if you like him then that's the deciding factor all right no that's one how many okay, do you want? give us, give us, uh, <laughs> Talk three? It, it just, yeah, what does it take for a date that you do like or lack thereof? It might be a lack thereof. It so could be like, nothing. I like him. If you approached me and you asked for me for my social media rather than being a man and asking me for my phone number, that's an issue. So like, what's your snap? Like, that's a negative. So be upfront and, um, be like, if you want to take me out, just make that, make that known. So ask me for my number, be a man. And don't be vaccinated. And you're not gonna. And you're not gonna. I guess give him any other roadblocks. So it, literally, he just has to ask you out if you do if, like him. If I do like him, yeah. Okay. Okay. All right. Yeah. What about you? Um, I would just say he has to ask me, but um, plan something. Not really like have me plan something. Okay, that's all he has to do. All right. What about you? I feel like it has to be someone that's. I think like putting in. Remember, this is a guy that you do like. Yeah, putting still putting an effort to like get to know me, and then making concrete plans. I think like. There's a difference between come over and obviously making, you know, plans. Okay. So, all right. So he's got to make plans still. Yeah, still. yeah, he has to like. You know. Yeah, how about this? Okay. You go eat, you come over after. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. No. What about you? What uh, What does it take for a guy that you actually do like? Um, As long as he's just like funny, good conversation. You know that you got some stability. Okay. I'm pretty open. That you actually do like? Mm -hmm. Um. I have to find him like mentally stimulating and sexually attractive. Yes. Mentally stimulating. Well, those are already accomplished. Sex. Because you oh. already like him. Okay, wait. That's hard. I don't know. Nothing. Nothing. Okay. That, that's what she said. That's hard. <laughs> Fair enough. Wow. So nothing. Okay. What about you? Nothing. Nothing, right? Okay. Because we can always use your boyfriend as an exactly. example. He doesn't do anything. He doesn't okay. Have to do anything. What about you? Yeah, if I already like him, probably nothing. Okay. Um. Damn, this is hard. Um, I guess I would say he just has to make plans. Okay. Yeah. Just make the plans and you show up. What about you? You can just ask me. Mm -hmm. Same thing. Oh, okay. Just just ask you out. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. yeah if you, you, is uh, it, what? 
Was somebody starting to say something? Who's turn? Oh. It's her turn. Okay. Yeah, it's, it's your goal. My turn. Oh, okay. It's my turn. I thought mm-hmm. it was her turn. No, yeah. He just has to tell me he likes me and ask me out. Okay. That's it. Yeah. All right. Um, what about you, Miss Finland? What the, what does uh, a guy have to do to take you on a date that you actually do like? Yeah, if it's a guy who I like, so he doesn't need to do much. Like, we don't even need to do anything, like, specific. Just ask me, and if I like you, so I come. Okay. Cleveland? Um, He has to ask me out on a date, and it has to be somewhere that I would like to go without, uh, even if he wasn't there. Like, some place that I would genuinely like to go. What if he suggests something that you've never been to before? If I would like to see it, then yeah, that works. Okay, so you have to like it. Yeah. Okay, fair enough. <laughs> all right, uh, all right, interesting. And then, so we got a video to play here, uh, real fast. Um, <laughs> one mil stream, yeah, guys. Yeah, one mil stream, man. Hope y'all uh, like the, like the goddamn video. There's almost fifteen thousand of you guys in here, by the way. We climbed up. So guys, like the goddamn video right now. Um, so we got uh, Mo. You want to give the background on this video real fast? Go ahead. User submitted, right? Yes. Go ahead. Um, this is a uh, content creator saying it in lightly way. Um, that is going to that she says her take on what does she want and what does she look for before you take her out on a date and to get her time. All right. All right, let's hear it. All right. OnlyFans chick says the craziest thing when it comes to uh, linking up with a man she's serious to. And Futures. let's make sure we have an unmuted uh Chris and then enlarge it, please. By Futures TV. Yep. Let's go ahead and uh roll the clip. Uh-huh. Us girls that are on the internet, Instagram, or OnlyFans, or whatever the case might be, when we encounter niggas that say, for example, no, I want to meet you in person, we just automatically assume that you're broke as fuck and you can't give $20, you can't give $100, you can't give 1000 or 5000 whatever the whatever the amount might be. We just automatically think that you're a broke-ass nigga mm-hmm. or a stingy-ass nigga. Yeah. So we even if we see you in person, we don't even, we no longer want to fucking see you. It's like, hey, <laughs> it's this fucking okay, nigga. Where they, where, they uh-huh. this, where they saying this? In your no. DMs or what? I'm no. What no. You you automatically think that they're broke. Like, well, thing. for well, me and what, my girls. Why do you get that? Okay, Papa, you like me and you want to see me. All right. So when I got to see you, I got to get my nails done. I got to get my hair done. I got to get my makeup done. I got to find an outfit. I got to make. I got to take the time to get ready. Okay. And I'm going to see you for fucking free. You can't send me no money. You can't be like, okay, baby, here. Because I am used to that. I'm used to niggas, like the niggas that I have dated. They send it to you. They send it to me like, mommy, mommy here. Right. Mommy here. Get your nails done. Get your things done. Because Caribbeans, at least me, Dominican, Puerto Rican. Uh-huh. Us girls that like to cater yeah. to our women. Here, baby, get pretty for me. Buy something for me. I want you to wear this color. I want you this. Yeah. When you don't do that, and you just be like, oh, uh, just pull up. I don't like to get money to <laughs> bitches. I don't know. When I see you in person, broke. Well, I don't want to no, no, stingy. <laughs> fuck you. Because I'm dating. I'm single. And I don't give a fuck if you're fat, if you're ugly, whatever. I fall in love with money. You give me money. I just love you, puppy. You know, I like money. That's what I like. That's what you see. I hear that. Like to Ew. okay, okay. <laughs> so all right so basically you guys see there that base um you know the guy needs to pay her essentially for her to come out or cover some kind of fee that she would use for her own personal aesthetics to show up on a date uh <laughs> we'll start uh with miss cleveland and work our way back around the table do you agree with her sentiment if so why or why not um i think she's looking for more of a sugar daddy than a boyfriend yeah. <laughs> um <laughs> I just think when you're that focused on the financials up front, then you're a lot less focused on him as a person. Um, I I don't think that her balance is really healthy. Okay. I wouldn't do it. So you 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 disagree? You think she's looking for a sugar daddy? Yeah. Okay. What about you? What are your thoughts, Miss Finland? Uh, yeah. Well, it depends. Like, if he wants to pay you, like for example, to get your nails done or something, so then it's fine. Okay. But like, I don't. I don't think that's like, for example, my ex-boyfriend when he didn't have money before. So I like him him even more. But then when he got money, he started cheating. So <laughs> I don't see the point, like why money should be so important. So do you agree with her? I guess you agree with her then that the guy should cover that stuff. Yeah, well, it depends. Like if you want to like for a few things, but I, I'm not going to ask like the guy that can you get my nails done? Like if you can't pay me so i'm not gonna be with you like it's not gonna so be if he offers it to you it's fine but you don't ask him hey oh my nails done yeah exactly the okay. date, like the date isn't dependent upon him doing that for you exactly okay okay so you'll take it okay i think most girls will accept if it's offered anyway but i'm saying is it a requirement is my question yeah it's not Do you agree with her the girl in the, in the video uh i agree that you need to do it or no that you should do it yeah well if you want to you can so i agree in that kind of way but if you don't want to pay, so then you don't need to pay. 
So okay. I don't know if I agree or no. Like it's man, you got some strong opinions. All right, <laughs> I do. What about? <laughs> no, I think he's just looking for a sugar daddy. Okay, you disagree with that? Yes. What are your thoughts on uh, how does she view the men that she meets up with? Um, I think a she bank? just views them as wallets. Okay. Yeah. All right. What are your thoughts on that? I feel like she should make her own money, so she shouldn't be worried about other people's money like that. Okay. What if she does make her own money though? Yeah, then you shouldn't be worried about somebody having to pay you. Okay. All right. So yeah, you disagree? I, I disagree. All right. Okay. What about you? I disagree. I'll definitely take something if it's offered, but I'm not going to base my like You're not gonna make it a prerequisite yeah. to me. Yeah. yeah. All right. What what are your thoughts on, on her in general doing that? Um She's objectifying them from the very start. And then at, I don't think if she ever wants real love in her life, she's going to find it. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But in her defense, isn't it fair to say that men objectify her? Mm -hmm. I mean, she's also making it easier for them to do that by, you know, making those things exactly. So. Okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. Interesting. What about you? Yeah, I think she's just looking for a sugar daddy. Okay. Sugar. What about you? She's definitely looking for money. That's it. She's not looking for anything more. Okay. I think she's a disgrace to women, actually good women. <laughs> True. Like real women for real connection. Okay. Um, why, she, why so? I literally am embarrassed by her. Um, because for me personally, if a man offered me money for my hair, my nails, my tan, my makeup, I'd be immediately unattracted to them. Mm -hmm. And they have. And I'm like, you're gross. Because I can't be bought, but also. Stop I, the cap. I can't. But stop the cap. I can't Chris. keep going, Chris. <laughs> keep going, Chris. I All can't right. be bought, <laughs> but I don't. I don't find that attractive when a man pays for stuff because I feel like they're trying to buy me, and I'd rather genuinely connect with a person, like okay. for real. Okay. All right. Uh, I guess since you brought that up, is the reason why you don't like it because when a man pays, there's not you feel obligated in a way. No, I just get turned off. Okay. All right. What about you? I think she's a delusional. <laughs> why is she delusional um i just don't think that's just like realistic for a real relationship or real love i think it goes back to what you're saying is most men they can look at you and they want to fuck with you fuck we fuck you but mm. they don't want to be with you so and i think be... she's okay with men just wanting to fuck her okay i was gonna ask you do you think she's she's made peace with that which is why she's making oh, yeah. them do that clearly okay. all right yeah what about you i think like any guy that's like no offense to anyone but like she does only fans for a living she's selling her body for money so if a girl you know what i'm saying so off rip i feel like like the Rich. foundation of who she is she doesn't is, mean quite literally lady she means as in she's mar marketing like, her sexuality yeah, selling, through her body yeah. yeah she doesn't mean she's fucking for money well maybe she, you might i don't know if that's she what you is. mean but I don't, she I don't, sounds like she does <laughs> she does i mean yeah i already yeah. feel like her morals are like very skewed i think okay. that like you know i already think off like i feel like you know her job it says enough about her okay so you don't agree with it um no i think she's wrong Go okay ahead. hold on you do only fans right yeah in your opinion does it affect your like marriage at all no he does it with me okay, okay. he's okay. in my videos he's the only one in my videos okay that's oh, what we out here making sex tapes okay <laughs> 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 all right uh what about you um i disagree with that okay uh why so um, I don't think that you should have to pay somebody to spend time with them. Mm -hmm. If you know, if you like that person, then why are you like, why are they paying you to to spend time with you? Mm -hmm. Like, I agree with the, you know, if they offer, that's, yep. that's great. Okay. But I don't think it should be required. Okay. And I don't think it makes them look broke for not paying you to hang out with you. Okay. okay. Yeah, she's an escort. No. <laughs> True. I was waiting. Okay. Uh, She'll fuck any guy for money. <laughs> uh, and I'll go back around real quick. If you meet a guy that you actually like, would you take the chance and risk asking for your nails done or some kind of money up front? Would you do that? No. Depends on how long I've known the person. It's a first date. You've never met okay. in person, but then you no. find him attractive, and you want you want to you want to like go out. You like him. You find him attractive. You wouldn't risk it. Okay. I wouldn't ask. What about you? No. Okay. Mm -mm. You wouldn't. I do it to test them and see if they're a simp. And if they do, I don't gotta go out with them. Oh wow! Okay. Sim. Sim. Okay. Twitch. No. Get Twitch, guys. Come oh, on. Oh yeah, yeah, we gotta. Wait, wait. We've been on YouTube yeah. all the time. Yeah. yeah. Come yeah, 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 yeah. Kill, <laughs> kill the. Goddamn. Yeah. Kill the Twitch stream. Kill the Facebook stream and the Twitter stream, guys. Come on over to YouTube right now. We got fifteen thousand plus on here. So come on over to YouTube, guys. Migrate over because we're gonna kill the stream on on Twitch, Facebook, and Twitter. All right, guys. And uh, P Hub. Uh, uh, no.
it, we don't we don't feel it. Yeah. Chris, Chris, you might, but we don't. <laughs> hey, you. Uh, okay, so um, going back. Okay, so you'll do it to test them. Mm-hmm. What about you? Uh, will you risk that? No. Okay. No. You wouldn't risk it. No. Okay. No, I wouldn't. You wouldn't. No. Um, Miss Finland, would you risk it to tell a guy, hey, uh, you know, take me on a, or let me get my nails, or pay me something to go to meet up with you, uh, if with a guy a, that you like? If it's a first date, so then no. Mm-hmm. But of course, like in a relationship, so yes. Okay. What about you, Miss Cleveland? No, I wouldn't. Okay. Would it be fair to say that if a girl asks you for money up front or a gift or something like that, she probably doesn't like the guy? Yes. Yeah. Yes. Okay. I, I think it's her judgment, like, is just not what you'd want, anyways, uh-huh. as a man, because uh-huh. you're dealing with a woman who's looking at you as a bank account and she doesn't even see you as a human. Like she said, she doesn't even care if you're in shape, any of that. <laughs> she doesn't even care about your physical yeah. brain or body. Yeah. So, how's she going to have a lot of meaning? Okay. So, what about you? Do you think girls respect you if you ask, they ask for these things up front? Mm, yes. Like, I don't think it's about so? respect if you ask somebody to pay something. I don't think it has anything to do with, like, respect. Well, let me somebody. ask you, why Why wouldn't you ask a guy then for money and stuff like that up front? Not on, like, on, on the first, first date. date because yeah, why I'm would not, you ask? Because I think it's just rude if you ask somebody that you don't even know, that can you pay me for this? So wouldn't it be fair you're not doing that because you respect them? Yeah, well... <laughs> <laughs> okay. No, I, no, I, but the only reason you. I wouldn't ask on the first day is because if you don't know somebody, so why you can't just go and ask that? Can you pay my money here? But if it's your boyfriend, so then of course he's not gonna. I'm be... talking about a first day scenario though, not your boyfriend. Yeah, but if you, yes, but that's what I mean. Like if you ask your boyfriend, so he's not gonna think you're weird. But if you ask somebody who you go out like with for the first time, so no, of course they're gonna think that you're gonna be, or you're like not. Okay. No, I love no. your charisma. Yeah. Uh, what about you? Uh, do, do you respect guys um, no that? Um, do you think a girl respects a guy if she asks him for you know pay for this or whatever right up front? No, no, no? way. Okay. What about you? No, I wouldn't ask. You wouldn't ask. I have my own money. I can do it myself. But do you think? But but that's what I'm saying. Like if a girl asks for money, let's say she makes her own, etc., she still asks that guy for it. Does she respect him? No. No. She I looks at him so. as okay. Yeah, I don't think so. What does she look at him as? A wallet. <laughs> okay, fair. What about you? What are your thoughts? Um, does a girl respect the guy if she asks for something like that up front? No, she doesn't. Okay. No. No? You don't think so? No. Absolutely not. No? Mm-mm. No. I feel like if you respect someone, you care about their opinion. If you're asking someone for money, you don't care what they think about. You know what I'm saying? I wouldn't even ask my mom for money. Like, that's just... Yeah. And mm-hmm. that's because I respect my mom. Like, okay. You know. I would say no. No. Fair you know what's funny about all this? Yeah. We live in Miami, one of the most, I want to say, fun, exciting cities, I think, in the world. And it's home of sugar babies and sugar daddies. And apparently, this happens all the time. So when I hear this from people or for, from myself, and I hear girls asking me, hey, can you pay for my nails in here? I'm like, you just, you just ruined the whole day. You just turned me off. Like, mm-hmm. that's an L. So mm-hmm. off rip is a turn off for the guy that actually has value and knows what he's about. A guy that's a simp, he'll do it. But then it's like, do you really want him? No. So either way, asking a question off rip is an L for a girl. It's just into the guy. So, I mean, and uh, let me ask a question to ladies uh, real fast. Hmm. Is it is it worse to fuck for free or for money? Ooh, we'll start this is very good right one. here and work our way back. It's worse What's of- worse, fucking for free or fucking for money? What's worse? Yeah. Fucking for money. Okay. All right. What about you? For money. For money? Yeah, for money or prostitute. Okay. <laughs> yeah. For free. For, it's worse to fuck for free. Yeah. Okay. For money. For Are money. You talking like cash. Yeah, I don't. Uh, yes. Cash, Zell. Cash. Yeah. 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 Like, yeah. Is it like uh, an instant exchange or like? So, for example, union. you meet somebody and they say uh, to you, "I want to fuck." Here's a thousand bucks. Ew. Versus, you know what? That's prostitution. That's no. We're asking. We're just asking. What is worse? For money? Yeah. For money or for free? That's all we're asking. So. Now that you guys know, we have clarified. So answer stands. Yes, for money. Is okay. Not good for money. For money. <laughs> yeah, for money's worse. You said for free. Stick with that. I still stick with for okay. free. For money. For money. Mm, <laughs> I don't know. For free. Okay, so it's all right. What about you? For money. Okay. It really depends on the situation yeah. for me, but I'm just gonna say for money. Okay. 
<laughs> for money. Uh huh. For money. Okay. I can't buy this. What about what about you, Miss uh, Finland? What's worse, to fuck for free or for money? Money for sure. Money, okay. <laughs> For free, okay. Like that's just so devaluing. <laughs> okay, you don't have to do anything. Can you, can right? you, can you get in bed with me? No, right, you're doing you, something. Can you explain? Well, remember, we're talking about the guy paying you money, like legit, like paying you money, exchanging. Okay, I like that's illegal. Let's just start there. But second of all, like I just I would do neither. But I think for free is super devaluing because huh? you're not making any threshold. But if you like the guy. That Isn't he's going to equal... take me on a date, which costs money, and then I might go home with him. That's why I asked. Is it it's even. You're still or... paying for your hair, yeah. makeup, and nails. Stop the cap. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So let's, yeah, let's say, yeah, let's just say all those things are equal. So is it worse for free or for money? You said for free. So why for free? Miss <laughs> Cleveland. Because it's, I just think that that's cheap. Like, I okay. just think that that's devaluing to the woman. Okay. Miss Finland, why is it worse for money? Uh, well, you said that it's cash what you pay, so I was thinking about like somebody paying me cash to have sex with them. Mm -hmm. So I just think that's like really disrespectful for myself to take money from somebody. Okay. What about you? You said for money. Why is it for money worse? For money, is, I feel like it's just not as fun. Um, for okay. me, sex... Um, I like it better when there's a connection, and if someone... can we get these balloons offset, please? <laughs> yeah, they're attacking the guests. Yeah, they're attacking the guests. <laughs> Sorry, ladies. Uh, all right. Oh, Chris. Yeah, if someone's paying me money, like after. <laughs> <laughs> This is why he's the only child. Yeah. Uh, so sorry. Go ahead. You were saying why, why is it worse for money? Well, if someone's paying me money after sex, it's not as fun. Like you know, there's an exchange coming. Mm -hmm. I don't know. I just like to feel a connection. Okay. You need to be emotionally stimulated. Yeah. Exactly. What about you? Why is it money for worse? If I like him, I'll fuck them. I don't need money to fuck them, you know. But if I don't Dr. like Cal. them, no. If I don't like them, not even money can get me to fuck Dr. them. Cal. I okay. swear to God. Uh, so, what so hold on. So you, you don't have a price, right? No. So, so, so let's say <laughs> there was a famous reggaeton artist in town, and he said to you, <clears throat> "Bad bunny." He said to you, "Um, <laughs> he's gay." I got. Well, he's gay. Listen, he's today, today, he's straight. Today, he's straight. I today, he's straight. I wouldn't. He says to you, "Look, I'm in town for one night. I need this real quick. I got to bounce. I'll give you." 100k. Oh man, you're talking about Stop 100k. The cap. 100k. <laughs> I would for one. Stop the I cap. Would for sure. Oh, there so, you go. So you have a price. See, this yeah. thing is fun, right? True. Everyone, has, everyone has a price. I don't care who you are. Exactly. Everyone has a price. True. But no one know your price. 100k. Cool. <laughs> yes. Pretty that's price. pretty good though. Shit, I can yeah. buy myself a lot of stuff with that. Yeah, that's, for, that's amazing. For a couple like 30 minutes or something, I'm good. I'll do it. Yeah, that's amazing. Yeah. All right. So for her, for free is worse. All right. Cool. Thanks, Fresh. <laughs> Uh, what about what about you? Uh, why I mean, is you said for free is actually worse? Why is for free worse? No, I said. Oh, for money. For money yeah. Oh yeah. Why is money for worse? Um, I mean, we all know that money talks, but I just feel like if someone's paying for it, then there's probably no real connection between us. Like because like she said, like if yeah, no if I like you, I know I'm probably already gonna go there with you regardless. Okay. So if you're paying me, it's probably no real. Okay. Yeah. Why yeah. is for money worse? Uh, yeah, I'm only fucking if I like you, so you can't pay me. Okay. Wait, so I thought we didn't know this person, and I was kind of like at the front, but all these people are like making it situations that they already know these people. Yeah. Well, so I mean, yeah, what is it worse, fucking for free or for money? For In that case, for money, because okay. I'm not doing that with you Okay. if I don't like you. Okay. I would never have sex for money, but I really value a gen genuine connection with somebody to sleep with. Okay. So, Bruh. Bruh. I don't think <laughs> I can't have sex with someone that isn't just doing anything for me. Okay. Like you're not, there's no value that you bring to the table. So why should I open up my value to you? Okay. Mm -hmm. So you, so for, like okay. So that's your, okay. Reasoning. All right. I think if you're fucking for money, it shows like what you value sex as. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like if you're having sex for money, then you obviously, like anyone could pay you for sex then, you know? Okay. So I think like fucking, yeah, fucking for money is awful. <laughs> okay. That's crazy. I mean, I think we essentially all kind of do it in the sense that, like, if I like you, the money's going to come on the back end anyway. Like, if we have sex, I like you, whatever it might be, you're going to eventually... You just have like, a front... Uh, you have an issue with it being paid for overtly and no connection, right? Yeah. I think it's correlating. If you're correlating your sex life with money, you got to, like... 
Okay. Because if we're establishing a relationship mm-hmm. or whatever it might be, then eventually you you are going to open your pockets in some way. Some, okay. Some way. Yeah. What about you? Something open. Um, I would say if you need to pay me to have sex with me, then like you clearly have your own issues okay. and you need to like get away from me. Yeah, okay. <laughs> what like for real. What <laughs> for you, why, why, uh, why is it worse Facts. for money? Um, because that's prostitution. Okay. And I place value in other things. Like if we have values that align, then. All right. That's where the attraction would be. It wouldn't be not a trick question, ladies. Just asking. Yeah. That, that's so, a, why and can I get why my take? Yeah, go ahead, please. All right, this is a double-edged sword <laughs> and a very tricky question. Yeah. I'll give you an example. So let's say there's Jane and there's Jane Doe. Jane fucks for free. Jane Doe wants to get get paid. So Jane fucks guys with connections for free, multiple guys. Jane Doe gets paid by a couple of guys because they have money. Unfortunately, Jane Doe. Is doing it for free, which means that all you need is a connection. You mean Jay's doing? Jane's doing it for no, free. No, no, Jay's doing it for free. Sorry, sorry, Jay's doing it for free. Yeah. So all she needs is a connection and a bed. Jane don't needs payment. So I'm not saying either or is right. I'm just saying that like it's tricky because one party is doing it for free, and you got mul- mul- multiple connections. One is getting paid, and like it's like how to put this? It's just different. If that makes sense, because if you're getting paid for it, only some people might pay. Versus if it's free, anybody got a connection. So I don't know what was worse, what's what's good, what's not. Yeah. You go, go out, Chris. You got some? <laughs> no, 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 no. I, I'm, I'm, I'm just confused. I'm confused as so, well. So so basically, <laughs> what I'm saying is that like when I go, go when a girl gets paid, it's kind of like one. anybody could pay her. But mm-hmm. when it's a free like connection, it could be anybody as well. I'm just saying like. No, it's not. What do you mean? The girl that's getting Very paid sil- is like probably yeah. she's re- she's money is money. all it's the requirement like, for that girl. Yeah, yeah, and she's really making a lot more than the girl that's you know. Bro, not- when you're drunk out oh, in the club, a connection is easy easy to make. No, it, I don't drink, so don't I can't Bro, relate. Most girls drink. I'm not most girls. Uh, ladies, I- when we when <laughs> on this podcast, um, I, I, a couple of you guys have had a really bad habit of doing this and looking at you. When we ask you a question, it is not you particularly, it is women in general. So I need you to kind of divide yourself from the question. You can go ahead and answer it generally, then go ahead and give yourself a given answer for yourself as well. But always answer the question in general, please. So, so basically I'm saying in a nutshell, neither is better. It's the same shit. You get what I'm saying? Because yeah. it's all about principle, how you value yourself. Mm-hmm. But generally speaking, you're still fucking. So it's like... It's not any better than the other. It's how you value yourself as a person that matters the most. So that's, you that's pay, all I'm saying. You pay women cash. No, I never would. I'm you just would. saying that like your values will determine what you think is right. What, what I we think, think is we, wrong. We advocate has, uh, on the on this pod. We advocate guys never pay for never sex. Pay. But he's saying it because let's be a thousand percent. Let's be very very honest here in Miami. What I've come to realize is any guy that's a higher earner here, yeah. here pays for sex overtly. They don't yeah. give a fuck. And a lot of girls do it here. It's it's crazy to me how I would say one in three girls in Miami. Especially if she's attractive, it might go up to the two and three mm. is having sex for money over mm. not giving a fuck. Pay me a thousand, two thousand, whatever the hell it is. They're doing it right. Um, and a lot of guys that have higher have higher status and money here, they do it and they don't care. Here we tell guys don't do that shit, because when you pay a woman overtly for sex, she cannot respect you. Yeah. And it's very difficult for her to build a connection with you as well. Maybe, you know, you trick off here and there, blah, blah, blah. But at some, and, you know, maybe you got your foot in the door and maybe you built something in the future, but you built it on weak ground. It's the wrong premise. Build, exactly. It's the wrong frame to, to approach under because you're coming in as a trick. You're coming in under the customer frame mm-hmm. and it's very difficult to break out of the frame. Can you break out of that? You can. But most girls are not going to respect you. Could you imagine your child ask you, daddy, mommy, how'd you guys meet? <laughs> oh, I paid her for sex the first time, son. That was great. What the fuck? And actually, it's very interesting because a couple of you guys said earlier when I asked, is negotiation, uh, is sex negotiable? A lot of you guys said no. And I would argue that uh, it, uh, I, I agree with that because when you're paying for sex, what you're effectively doing literally is negotiating with money. But the girl isn't going to feel the same lust for you. She's just going to be like, okay, how much longer is this guy going to pump? Okay, I'm out of here. Yeah. You know what I mean? She's doing it like because she has to versus she wants to. And you're never going to get the best out of that woman sexually. She might act or whatever, but it's not real. That's why porn stars, a lot of the times, they got to have a bunch of lube on set. They don't really like the guy that much or whatever. And it's not uh, for a lot of girls, it's emotionless. We think for a guy, the best situation is genuine desire. So, for example, you meet a guy, there's a real connection and that bond's there, then it makes sense. But to pay for it is a L because at that point, yes, you're still getting laid, but 
it's not the right energy. You get what I'm saying? Exactly. Mm-hmm. So, I agree with you. Yeah. You would have to be yeah. really desperate for you to pay for move for sex. You'd be surprised. A lot of people that have money just pay for they, it. They pay. Yeah. Like, I mean, I was shocked to see how many people actually pay for it here well, in Miami. Uh, I mean, ladies, we asked you at the top of the show. Yeah. Uh, earlier in the show, what percentage of men? I mean, uh, what, if a guy talks, a guy that's charming. Remember, this is a top tier guy. If he talks to ten girls, how many he's gonna have sex with? You, a lot of you guys said half. Yeah. It's one, wow. and this is assuming he's the best. So think about it. If you got a one ten percent chance as the most attractive guy, that means that you're if you're a regular guy, you got to put in a lot of work to get a girl. So why is he gonna put in all that work when he can just have sex? When he can just pay and have sex and yes. do it quickly? But especially if he has the money to do it. I don't advocate it. Don't get it twisted. I say don't do that shit. Yeah. But a lot of guys are going to be like, what the fuck? I got to take this bitch on three dates and talk to her and all this shit. Fuck that. I just want to smash. And you know what's funny about this suit? Notice I asked you a little bit earlier, right? And I pressed you a little bit for a price. <laughs> so many girls that might have a price. Yeah. And they may not even be money. It could be a trip. It could be a bag. It could even be a pack of gum. I don't send a camera. But the point is that, like, this guy. Most girls have a price, and I'm just saying it's the same man. Your girl could be next. Yeah, I mean, it, it, Miami is, is just like that. But you were saying something. I'm not gonna. Lie, I forget. It was something along the lines of guys paying for sex or something like that. I was saying why guys do it because because ladies, it's very uh, difficult for most guys to attract women. And to be honest, let's let's be a thousand. Men only talk to you for sex nine out of ten times. That's what men want. When a guy goes and approaches a woman and talks to her, y'all are not that interesting. You're not that cool. You're not that you know like peculiar many women are very very similar a lot of you guys think you're all different but to be honest on a bare bones level most women are very similar so what Trip, size, which dinner, all ring? this stuff huh what's that so which what how do you determine which one gets the ring if we're all the same fantastic question wow. you're all the same but the different as far as like hobbies and interests <laughs> and all the other stuff nothing special the difference is Misogyny. you got to treat your guy differently <laughs> so what i mean by that is a lot of girls want the same things mm-hmm. Right. What well, the things that uh, attraction triggers are not a choice. However, what do you return in exchange? That's where the key is met, because most girls think, oh, I'm just here, nigga. That's good enough. Right. But the reality is, what do you offer value in exchange? And it's the girl's job to figure that out and keep the guy around. But I would argue most girls think my presence alone is enough, which that'll get you a few dates. That might even get you a boyfriend. But it typically won't secure you a long term relationship yeah. with, a, with a guy that's worth a shit. Mm-hmm. With a loser, it might secure you something because you're just happy to have anything. But you don't respect that nigga anyway. So that's okay. that's what it is. Um, and uh, okay, so I didn't want to say it, but I'm just saying, fuck it. Oh shit! Here we go. So I mentioned before, could be money, could be a trick, could be a bag. By Miami is weed, two C, cocaine, a hub. Oh, what else? Pills, bro. It is so easy over here, bro. Like I see niggas pull up to the club, pull up a bag, back to the crib. I'm like, bro, that was too easy. That's wild though. But wow! I want the price. I mean, we all yeah. know crackheads exist. So. <laughs> yeah. No, no, no. This but. is regular college girls that just want to have a good time. I mean, it's scary. Still... Like, girls with boyfriends, Miami girls with husbands. Different. It's like, bro, you offer them a good time, Miami they're gone. I think it all comes back to personal morals, values. And personal yes. values. Mm-hmm. That's, that's 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 the point of what I was saying earlier. It could be money free, but it's your values that might really matter. I think it also is like, like no offense, like. Only fans, all this say, I think we like normalize a lot of stuff now. So mm. the values are like very skewed. So I feel like it's almost like you got to like look through like a bunch of rocks to get, you know what I'm saying? Cause it's Diamond. like everyone is very, very similar because of like how I feel like we normalize a lot of stuff that, in my opinion, isn't normal. She gonna beat your ass. <laughs> yeah, no, no offense. Yeah, I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I mean, as it like, and when I say a lot of women are similar and the same, is like what I mean is like women in general have very similar hobbies, very similar interests, very similar likes. Um, it's the, the 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 differentiating thing is what do they do back for you? Yeah, you know. So mm-hmm. and that's why I would say most girls have the issue where a lot of girls think I just exist. A guy should court me, wine me, dine me, etc. And I'm just gonna exist and I'll be fine. And I'm here to say, man, like you might get sex doing that, but you're not gonna get a guy that's worth a damn to take you seriously. So you mentioned earlier, uh, does sex keep a guy long term? I would say that's a, a component, but the real meat of the bones is basically is that like, are you adding value to his life? Mm-hmm. Are you worth? Are, are, you know what? A better thing is, are you irreplaceable? If you can fill that hole for him, for example, he may need somebody to help him with his work or maybe with his, his, his home needs, you be that girl for him and give him sex and be feminine, 
Yeah, and even more, like... not care if he fucks other girls. Oh shit, that's yeah. X you Factor. Him. You got him. Because, because I, I don't, uh, you know, we got a bunch of new girls here. Some of the girls may have heard this. You're never gonna sexually satisfy your guy by yourself, ladies. Yeah, sorry. Misogyny. You're never gonna do it. That's why niggas cheat. That's why guys, guys always want something different. They want something strange. You know, you want to try candy corn every now and then, right? <laughs> so that's just that's just how it goes. So. Yeah. If like, all women are guy. the same, why can't we satisfy you? Why are you just going to someone that's exactly like me? For, oh, the same gosh. when I say in when I when I say the same, I mean as in personality wise. Like a lot of women have like very similar interests and attraction triggers, but when we're talking, I'm talking about strictly physical physicality. Mm -hmm. Like guys are like if you're a white girl, he's gonna want an Asian girl one one time. He's gonna want to try uh, a black girl. He's gonna want to try different races, etc. He might have a preference, but he's still gonna want to dabble. Don't you think you should dabble before you commit so? Dabble in the dark? <laughs> guys, guys, cheat. guys yeah. cheat because of insecurity. I think guys cheat, though, it's more than just like... You said guys cheat because of insecurity? Desire too. Yes. Like, That's 100% yes. incorrect. It's like desire. Uh, I agree with you. You think men cheat out of insecurity, too? Yeah. Okay, how many other ladies believe in that nonsensical argument? Okay, who uh, raise a hands. Uh, men cheat out of insecurity. Raise a hands. You, 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 come on, stand on it. Okay, two. I think, I couch, think that's two? the only reason why they choose. Insecurity. Because mm -hmm. they're insecure. Yo, I got us with one question for ladies. Ladies on the panel mm. and the couch. Mm. What is the best pussy in the world? What? I don't think that. No, no, no. Just answer it. A what pussy is, is different. the best pussy in the world? Man made pussy. Okay. What else? What is I don't even I know what. Yeah, I don't, yeah, I don't know what that, do you what you like, like, What do you mean? Guy, guy, what? Is it golden is it pussy? pussy? What's the best pussy in the world? No, let's see. It's different. He favorites guy, whoever. Yeah. He. I don't know. He has his Ladies, own favorite. This is so simple. You, you want the fact that they can't answer is yeah. is the is free the, in itself. Like, easy. You, you, want, you want to answer? You want to answer? Everybody. New pussy. There you go. That's it. New pussy to answer. Yeah. That's the best. Don't and the fact, and you know what, man? This go. This is what I'm trying to say. Yeah. Women don't know what men want, but men must know what women want to be attractive. Women don't have to know. Like you guys have. Uh, I ain't gonna lie. You guys don't know shit about us. <laughs> From the answers, I, uh, how many guys are you thinking out here getting laid? Blah blah yes. blah. You guys were wrong in almost everything. But men have to understand women to be attractive. But women don't have to necessarily understand men to be attractive. Is my point. So. That's what we're trying to say. Yeah. New pussy is the best pussy for guys. Yeah. Okay. A guy could be with a girl he's been with for 20 years, loves her, etc. He's still going to want to try something different. Yeah. Now, you said something. What, he, what, insecure? In, you said insecure, I right? I said that. Yeah. Okay. And then you said, so I, I, I'll tackle both of these. You said, shouldn't he. Um, oh, shouldn't he dabble before he's committed? The issue is that he's going to want to dabble for the rest of his life. It's ingrained in us, which goes to her, to her point. It, men don't cheat out of insecurity, men cheat out of curiosity. Yeah. Very yeah. different. So mm -hmm. men are biologically hardwired. Right, and it's difficult for you to understand this because you're a woman. But I'll break it down for you. Women, men are biologically don't hardwired. Me, please don't call me stupid because I'm a woman. Stupid. Stupid. Don't imply that. He didn't stupid. say that. Did you, I said, I stupid? you said it might be difficult stupid. for me to understand yes. because I'm because a woman. you're not a man. Because stupid. But like, <laughs> it's like Chris. No, the reason why is because your answer in itself proves that you don't under that you don't know because you're a woman. Hmm. For you to say, like, like, I don't even have to say it. Your answer speaks for itself. You saying that meant she had insecurity proves that you don't understand simply because you're a woman because you're using a female lens to come to that conclusion and i'm going to give you the male lens men are biologically hardwired to want to have sex and procreate with as many women as possible that's why a guy can bust as many nuts as possible that's why when they watch porn they look at different girls that's why even if he has a girl at home he's still going to watch want to watch porn and see something different so women don't understand this though because you guys are designed to harvest your egg for the best man you can get you guys want quality we want quantity so it's not that men are insecure it's that men are biologically hardwired to have sex with as many women as possible. You're biologically hardwired to have sex with the best man possible. Completely different, which is Stupid. why you inherently don't understand because you're a woman. Stupid. Yeah, I don't think you can generalize Chris, we don't the, have to do that. the insecurity thing because it's like, what does the man with status and money have to be insecure about? A lot. So it's like, Go ahead, give I us mean, some examples. Yeah. If you can. Go ahead, um, give us some examples. Being afraid of not being able to please their woman. Mm -hmm. I know, like, there are a lot of men who, regardless of, you know, they're the top of the top, they're still having those insecurities where they're, like, questioning in the back of their head, oh, what if I can't provide this for her? What if I'm not able to do this? What if I'm not good enough? Like, there, men, men, ha men are super insecure because of the way that society is and the way that society, like, places men. Okay. Oh my God. Well, here's the thing. Now you're trying to move the goalposts. 
it's all the all argument is simply together. the argument is simply men don't cheat out of insecurity. That's I'm, I'm, I'm not arguing not that 100%. men aren't insecure. You're 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 making a mistake here. I'm not saying that men aren't insecure. I'm saying the reason for which you're saying men are insecure is incorrect. I'm saying men have sex for other reasons, typically not insecurity. It's out of curiosity. Now, the things you're talking about, he can't provide or he can't do this, whatever. Sure, those will make him insecure, but that is not the main prerequisite ingredient to infidelity. That prerequisite ingredient is curiosity and options and the ability to do so. The only difference between a guy whacking off at home, watching porn, and a, and a guy out here smashing another girl is that guy has the capability to do so. So it's not insecurity. That's a female cope system to say, he cheated on me because he's insecure so girls can feel better about the reason that they got cheated on. But I tell girls, don't put the burden of failure on yourself. The reason why he cheated is because you can't sexually satisfy him yourself. Accept the truth. You're not special. But how do you know that? Because like some people can be insecure and cheat because of I'm that. saying the predominant reason why men cheat is typically not insecurity. But That's how, my argument. But how do you know it? Because like I'm what, a man and I know no, how men think. No, but what if it's only you who thinks <laughs> yeah. like that and there is like That's other like, people wait, wait, wait. who are insecure? What if it's me that only thinks like that? No, but I'm saying like if you think that it's not the insecurity, that it's only the reason that you want to see somebody else. But what if other people are do it because they're insecure? That I, What I'm saying is that I'm not saying it doesn't exist, ladies. I'm saying in, if I lined up 100 dudes and each of them cheated on their girl and I asked them, what was the main reason you cheated on your girl? Be honest with me, motherfucker. Put them on a polygraph. It's going to be because I just want a new pussy. They would deny. For deny, how long? Yeah, deny. I, it's, it's just going to be, I just want a new pussy. A lot of them are going to say, it's because I couldn't sexually satisfy my girl. No, they're going to just say, I want a new pussy. But that's it's not so that weird. deep. You yeah. See, here's the thing. This, this is women over, overcomplicate things. Now, when you said insecurity, they cheat on him because of insecurity. No, that's why women cheat. That's why women will cheat at insecurity and more complex things because women are far more complex with what arouses them, what they like, what they don't like, etc. Men are simple. We get turned on like a light switch. Women get turned on like a volume knob. You have to, you know, takes a while, take some time. You got to warm up to it with the guys like ready to go. So women cheat out of insecurity and emotional instability and all this other bullshit. Men don't. We're, we're very physically oriented. She's hot. She's available. I'm going to do this with a woman. He's hot. But hold on. What color is his shoes? Do they match? Is he funny? Uh, does he have a good job? All right. So women need way more to, to, to you know, to cheat. And that, that can stem from insecurity. But are you saying that are you saying that it's okay to cheat? For well, men. we're saying it's going to happen. I'm saying it's going to happen. But is it okay? For the man to cheat? Your moral yeah. compass is your own. Right or wrong, that's up to you. Listen, no, but if, is if it okay cheat, for the man? I, 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 I don't think it's a big deal if a guy has sex with another girl. It's, it's, you it's, don't think it's a big deal? Like, not wrong. For me, even the situation I'm oh, going God. through right now. So <laughs> you are... Emotional <laughs> damage! No, but I would like Here's to Here's the difference. That, Here's you... the reason why. Men and women are not the same. Men don't have to get to the same emotional state to have sex with a girl that a woman has to get to have sex with a man. Yeah, I In know other that. words, right? When a woman cheats, it's premeditated murder. She planned that shit. When a man cheats, it's manslaughter. He was driving drunk and he hit somebody. Fuck. Ah, oh, damn it. It's not the same. <laughs> yeah, but the, when you know that you're going to hurt somebody, so are you fine yeah. that you're going to hurt someone? Here's you the thing. Just, you you can't hurt somebody you. that doesn't find out. Yeah, that's the, the, they're never cheating on you thinking, yes, I can't wait till she fucking knows, like Justin Timberlake recording yeah, shit. Yeah, but that's no, the point. They, like, they, they try to hide it. The difference is that the reason why men have to hide their infidelity is because we're ha the same reason we're having this tough conversation now. Women don't understand. can't handle the truth and when you mm -hmm. tell them the truth they don't like it you're never going to sexually satisfy a guy by yourself what was the immediate response that's because men are insecure no they just want new pussy but women rationalize like crazy concepts in their head as to why their guy cheated on them well, he's insecure maybe his dick is small maybe i my boobs aren't big enough maybe my body blah 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 no Who he just wanted you? new pussy he just wanted new pussy that's all it was it's that simple yeah, ladies it's not you it's just As us as guys, we want to bust nuts. That's pretty much it. Yeah. Right. I feel like that's why women never get caught cheating. Because why, Because do, why do guys... No, but what do guys have to lose? Guys are getting pussy. Why, why would they go to the boyfriend? You know what I'm saying? Girls... Guys get caught cheating because girls get emotional and upset and they have the need to go to the, back to the girlfriend. You know what I'm saying? Mm. Guys, like, guys are getting what they want. Like, off. You know what I'm saying? There's no need to do extra. I see what you're saying. Because uh, girls will go back and tell the other girl, oh, what, what your boyfriend cheated on? Because I feel like I feel like point. I've never yeah. seen I feel like I've never seen a guy Merch. go to another boyfriend and like 
I feel that's like like more rare. Unless, boys. Unless he knows them, yeah. Unless they're boys, but but I mean, the point I'm trying to make is that it's it's not you cheating on a man is not the same as a man cheating on you. Like that relationship could still work if he cheats on you. It ain't gonna work the other way around though. When a woman cheats, it's over. She checked out. But and why is it that way? Men and women are not the same. Because like, they are. I, I get what she's saying. She, she's saying she, because how can a guy love her and cheat on her, hurt her? But we're saying. He can love you and still cheat on you. Yeah, and she doesn't want he to accept that. He just got caught. Does he truly yeah. love He just got you? caught. That's it. Yep. They're all cheating. I feel like love and respect are equated. So mm -hmm. you, yes. if you have enough respect for your partner not to cheat on them. Sorry. Like, exactly. No, he has enough them? respect to not tell you to hurt your feelings. Yeah. Exactly. That's the difference. Because but you can't do anything what you can say out loud because then it doesn't mean that you're in a relationship if you can't speak about everything. So why would you need to hide because something? Because women can't why handle the truth. Need to, why would you want to be with somebody who you need to hide stuff from? Because women can't t handle the truth in general. Uh, okay, but ladies, 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 let me, let me, okay, okay, hold on, hold on, hold on. Everybody. Yeah. Use common sense for two seconds. We have 15,000, almost 16,000 people watching. You guys want to know why we're so popular? I'll tell you why. Because women are rarely told the truth. They come on this podcast, we tell the truth, and the reactions we get from y'all are fucking crazy. <laughs> to the point that we've been able to build up to a million subscribers. <laughs> because it is so novel for men to tell the truth when it comes to sexuality, relationships, etc., that guys tune in late at night, go to work late, sleep deprived to see female reactions to the truth finally being told to them. Yeah. Because when they grow up, think about that. Shout out to y'all. Like, <laughs> like we have so many people here, you guys, we're telling you what it is and you refuse to accept it. And that's why people love this because women cannot accept the truth. So knowing this, guys don't tell women the truth. They say, I love you. You're the only one. But they go and fuck another girl. Why? Because women can't accept the fact, listen, I love you, but I'm going to have sex with other girls. It is what it is. What do you mean? I'm special. Uh, they can't take it. So guys lie. But then you need to accept that the woman also lies, that she's not going to tell you the truth. It's equal. If you lie, so the woman can lie also. Lie about what, though? About cheating. Like, if you want to go with somebody else, so also the woman can go. If you and go cheat, that makes you a hoe. No, but if... If I don't tell that if I, I go, cheat, that increases my no, status. No, but you told me that if I don't tell that I did know. it, so I didn't do it. Uh, can what? I just say I'm you like... say you say that if you if if your partner doesn't know that you cheated on her, so then you didn't cheat. We never said that. We said that guys don't tell them because women can't take the truth. <laughs> yeah, but that do you think you I... cheated if you didn't tell her? No, it happened, but she doesn't know. Yeah, she doesn't. Yeah, know. Yeah, but did you cheat on her? If she doesn't know, Denied. I don't get it. I'm lost. If a tree Denied. falls well, in the forest and no one's around to hear it, but I would like to know that. Sound? Did you cheat if you didn't tell? It's her. only cheating if you get caught. <laughs> yeah, that's what I mean. Not men don't cheat. And that's not like. And this right here, this is a quintessential example. This is a, so, no offense, Miss Finland, but this is a perfect example why guys don't be honest with women. They refuse to accept it. Like I'm, I'm telling you straight up what it is. Guys are gonna have sex with other girls. But then you need to accept, accept that we don't say the truth either. Yeah, well, you guys don't. You guys lie to yourselves every time you walk out with makeup. I know, I get it. You know, men, men, men you know, women, women wear makeup because men fall in love with looks, and men lie because women fall in love with what they hear. It's just, it's we lie in different ways to get what we want from the opposite gender. We're very different. But what I am saying is that there's some lying that is to some degree acceptable, and to some other degrees that's not acceptable. It's acceptable to, for you to wear makeup and alter your look and look completely different, right? It's acceptable. Men will accept that, but they will not accept you fucking other guys. But we're not hurting anyone by wearing our makeup. You're hurting yeah. two women by doing what you say exactly. you're going to do. You're hurting us, all right. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah I so mean, true. yeah, well, wake up next to you with no makeup. That that yeah. could hurt us, too. But, <laughs> um, oh, my God. <laughs> no, but, ladies, what I'm trying to say is that what the hell? you're it's not in your, you're, you're not natural. You don't have a natural proclivity to have sex with a lot of dudes. You have a natural proclivity to secure with one dude. We have a natural proclivity to have sex with a lot of women. That's what I'm trying to say. You're, it's not, you're not built for it. So women say, oh, well, I'm going to go out and cheat too. Well, that just makes you a hoe. And it goes against your nature. And I would. And do any of the ladies here want to be a hoe? Raise your hands. Oh, no one. Fantastic. Guys, <laughs> y'all want to have sex with a bunch of girls? Yeah? Yeah? Yep. Okay. Oh. Yeah. So see the difference here? We want to do that. You guys don't. So I don't know why women make arguments. I want to be a hoe too. Do you really though? I'm trying to baptize no. all these girls, bro. You know, as a man of God, they need to be baptized, you know? So, uh, somebody had something over By the here. Holy semen. Someone, did someone want to say oh something? <laughs> Nothing? That's pretty funny, man. I feel like it was me, but I yeah. forget. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> something to do with cheating or something like that? I get I get the logic, but it doesn't make it right. That's I think what we're trying to say is, I, we get the logic, we get that yeah. a man a man cheating is different than a woman cheating, yeah. but it still doesn't make it right. And there still, still are men who 
don't. And well, we appreciate you know it. I don't think it's right that one plus one is two. That's yeah. fucked up. Yeah. It should be three. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like mine. You know what I mean? Because uh, 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 yeah, you can, like, right. I get what you're saying. You're saying, I understand the logic. It's done right there. Yeah. You understand, the logic is what matters. Who cares about how you feel about the logic? The logic is all that matters. Mm-hmm. This is how it is. One plus one is two. You don't have to like it, but you have to accept it. And you can live in a delusional world where it's three, but that's just not how it goes. The sky's blue. I wish it was purple. That'd be a great fucking world, right? Yeah. But it's not. It's blue. But I feel stay, like... Stay single then, right? If you or really have no, a no, relationship. I'll give you this, right? You are arguing, arguing morality, and I respect that, just because like you want to dig in deeper. We're just saying, this is what happens, generally speaking. However, if you had to pick the best option, I would say just be single. And but I, let's be real here. Is anyone going to do that? No, no, nah, no. They're going to get into a relationship with somebody, play the part, and then if it falls apart, then kudos to you. But we, uh, On this podcast, we operate on, uh, women operate on should, could, and would. We operate on what is. We know, here are the facts. Most guys struggle with getting women. Most guys struggle with getting laid from women. Most guys, if they're able to even get a girlfriend, right, got her by the skin of his teeth. Most guys don't have the ability to tell girlfriend, I want to have sex with other girls. So therefore, he must lie if he wants to have sex with other girls, because since he barely got that girl, if she finds out he had sex with another chick, she's going to leave him. So most men don't have the ability to tell a girl, I want to have sex with other women and be able to actually do it. Most guys can't do it. So what do they do? They lie and they cheat. So now that you know the truth, how do you want to react to it? Do you want to go, la, 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 I don't care. I want monogamy. I want monogamy. Right? And you can live in your dream world and expect that. Or are you going to listen to what I say? understand what I say, and most importantly, apply what I say. Say, you know what? This guy, okay, he fucked this other girl. I don't like it. She was bad, but you know what? He loves me. All right, I accept it. I don't think How do most we know? men have the I don't think to any stand women will say that. that. Yeah, well, that, I, that is the difference, <laughs> and that is the biggest difference between men and women. I don't like that women only date guys typically that make more money than them and are taller than them. An overwhelming majority of women want a guy that makes that six feet tall, hundred thousand dollars per year. I don't like that. It's fucked up. Most guys can't measure up. But guess what? Fuck my feelings and what I like and what I don't like. I know the reality. So I tell guys, get your money up, get in shape, because girls aren't gonna love you idealistically, motherfucker. You must change. You must adapt. We don't operate on should, could, or would. It's what is. Yeah. All right. So that's how it is, guys. Don't worry, girls. Got yeah. you. Massage. So, so if men have to accept the cold hard truth that women want tall guys that have money, women gotta accept the cold hard truth that most niggas are gonna fuck other chicks, bro. It's not that serious. Massage. Unless we just equate love to loyalty, so how do we know if he truly loves us if he can't be faithful? Because he's he willing to die for you. Because you'll die for me. Yes, that is loyal. That men and women show loyalty differently. Well, I only know that situation until like what you're dead. So now, when I say that, I didn't mean he that dead, quite though. literally. But what I meant was, <laughs> if a man is willing to put himself in harm's way to protect you and provide safety for you, that is how men show loyalty. A man isn't going to lay his life and put it on the line for a woman he doesn't give a fuck about. Mm. A man's okay? going to take a bullet. He'll give his dick to anyone, but he will give what? his life and provisioning for only one. Oh. Typically. Yeah. We don't show loyalty the same way. Men, uh, like a man putting his life on the line is the equivalent to a woman putting her vagina on the line. You show fidelity by not fucking other people. Mm-hmm. We show fidelity by being willing to protect you. We're not the same at um, all. And also I- regarding resources as well. Let's say, for example, you find a guy that's going to take care of you, be there for you emotionally, uh, financially, and at the same time is your ideal guy. But he travels on, he goes on trips, mm-hmm. he may cheat here, here and there. I think that's Something you could kind of like negotiate a little bit versus a guy that's just a bum that's cheating on you. It's totally, to- it's totally different, but mm-hmm. at least there's value added to one guy. Out of sight, out of mind. There you go. But I still uh, don't get it how you no can face, say no we case. <laughs> from like every every guy that every guy is the same. Like for example, women. Some people can be hoes and some people can be like good. Okay, because so here's here here it is. If I take 100 men and I ask them, do you want to have sex with only one girl or do you want to have sex with five girls? 95 of those guys are going to say five girls. Now, if I take women and I line up 100, do you prefer to have sex with just one guy or have sex with five guys at the same time? They're mostly 90 of them are going to say just one guy. No, but what if all all are hoes? Like they want to have sex with everybody. That's my argument that most women are not hoes. Like they, no, they, it, they don't want to be hoes long term. No, but there is many hoes in the world. They are, they are but that's not <laughs> but that's not what they strive for is what I'm trying to say. Wait, it might be a phase, yeah, well, it might be a part of their life, but in general, if I line up 100 girls, 
They're going to prefer to be with just one guy, if given the option. The reason why so many girls date non-exclusively and be hoes or whatever is because most guys are pussies. Most girls are hoes because guys allow them to be hoes. Did yeah. you guys think about that for a second? If you meet yeah. a guy and he has boundaries and he has standards, he's like, yo, listen, this is what I expect of you. If you want a relationship, girls would act proper. They would they would, they would, would not be hoes. They would respect themselves more, etc. But the diff, the thing is that you can't tell women shit in 2022. You can't tell them, I don't like that you're dressed like that. I don't like when you go to the clubs and do the certain things. Or I don't date women that do this stuff. Men don't, don't have standards. So girls just act crazy and act wild. Women love a guy that's controlling. And what I mean by controlling is that he's in control of his life and he doesn't allow women that don't deserve to be in his life in it. I would also argue that some men want girls
here sipping at my assistant. And we're live. I have a right. daughter. And uh, we're back. We're back. Yeah. We're back, guys. Um, sorry about that. We had a little internet outage right there. Um, we're back, though. Freaking, I just had to reset the router. Um, I'll talk with Viking about it off after. But that happens, guys. Sometimes you get like a lag spike or whatever. It's the internet. Um, but we're back. So we're back. Yeah. Uh, damn. I forgot what we we're talking about. God damn it. Um, I just ran over. Oh, to I Finland said some. I talking. said. I said, um, Kara. don't. Well, most things. Um, go ahead. I said, don't. Most guys like the easy access of hoes. And then you said, yes, but that's not who they're going to wife. But then yes. don't you guys also say never to wife someone? Yes. No? Yeah. We said don't wife up hoes. Yes. Oh, don't wife up hoes. Yes. Yes, in general, I tell guys okay. don't don't wife up girls that have a very promiscuous past. We'll fuck you up. Okay. <laughs> they actually so they've done studies up. on this too. They found that uh, once a girl passes a certain partner count, that mm. uh, divorce rates increase significantly. And I the, read that study, yeah. but I also think that that study is correlation without causation. I don't know if y'all learned that in science, but um, yeah, I just think that that study it, it literally says like a disclaimer at the bottom that um, yeah, correlation is is not causation. That's right. hundred that that is a hundred percent true, but that is an important thing to note that as as her body count goes up, that it that it increases the potential likelihood. Because you'll never one man will never be able to satisfy her sexually. No, I think it's attached. It's the other way around. Uh, oh 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 uh, oh. I'm saying as her body count goes up, is that why? Um. Well, that's that's a part of it, right? They because she's had more sexual partners, so therefore she has a little bit. This sounds terrible, yes. but she has more of a Rolodex to refer back to, mm -hmm. right? And then also, like women are imprinted by men, so if she meets a guy that was that fucking guy and then it didn't didn't work out, mm -hmm. she's gonna look for that again in another guy, and it's gonna be very difficult for her to um to acclimate to that new individual, right? Like, <sighs> could you imagine they didn't Michael B. Jordan, and then? You you guys break up you date like a mailman mm -hmm. <laughs> does that, <laughs> does that so not that... lead back to insecurity though for who the woman or, or the, the man? man no it's the woman it's the woman we're talking about the woman here no i know but like you're saying so as the the body count goes up the mm -hmm. divorce rate or possibility goes up yeah but so you're also saying for the reason that they um she might be satisfied by someone else or like you're saying that they can't compare to Michael B. Jordan, but isn't that personal insecurity? Because why can't you compare to him? No, okay. it, because so, you got to remember that women are the overwhelming majority of breakups. So the woman is breaking up with the guy because as women, it's difficult for women to go backwards. If you if you date a certain, I mean, ladies, let's be honest here. Once you date a, date a certain caliber of guy, right? If you date a guy that has money, you can't go and date a broke guy after it's that. Hard. It's mm -hmm. fucked up. It's not going to last more than likely. Really so it is very difficult for women to regress when they when they deal with a certain caliber of man so that's what we're saying is that the more experience a girl has this is why guys again this is going to be uncomfortable for you guys to hear this is why men value women that are typically Asagini. younger the reason why is because as a woman is younger andrew tate famously says she's been through less dick even though i know that might be crude and fucked up to say Haram! yeah right but he he, he does have a, a point here from a biological sense the less partner she's had the more likely she will be to bond with you Mm -hmm. as an, as, yeah to, to build to build a genuine attachment and they found uh under five partners like the marriage rates are stay uh are, 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 are way higher chance, yeah. and divorce rates are way, way lower and a big part of that is because because keep in mind women initiate the breakups not the men so since the women initiate the breakups that's where you have to look at the root cause of why why is this happening and that's a pretty you know good statistic to take is like yo as her partners go up her ability to stay in a long-term relationship goes down with it I think there's like 18 year old girls that could have slept with 200 people. Too, of course, though. of course, of course. But the likelihood is slimmer, right? The older a woman gets unwed, right? Dating around, etc. right? She might get five bodies a year. You multiply that by 10, that's 50. At 30 years old versus at 20, she might only have 10 or tw uh, 10. What if you had three major relationships and you're just older? Well, the, those relationships, if they ended up poor, ended poorly, might cause trauma. And then more than likely, those relationships, those guys more than likely probably imprinted on you. And since they imprinted on you, it's going to be very difficult for a, the next guy to come in and fill in whatever shoes that might that guy might have ha had. So it, it, there's there's a reason, like, I've always said it that, like, we're attracted to certain things in the opposite gender that ensure our security. I'll give you an example. Women are attracted to men that are taller and stronger than them, et cetera. Why? Because women are weaker, feebler, don't have the same coordination, don't Asagi. have the same strength, don't have the same speed, don't have the same prowess, mm -hmm. you know, ability to create things, 
this is all scientifically proven. Our brains are different, right? So since women lack these things, they look for a man who has these things. Now, let's go to the guys. Men want to make sure that the kid is theirs. So since they got to make sure the kid is theirs, what do they look for? Is she young? A mother? Is she beautiful? Nurturer? Is she not a hoe? So that I know that the kid is mine, because contrary to popular belief, we didn't always have paternity tests. So men look for different things. So women value experience, men value inexperience, because they want to ensure that the child is theirs. Whereas the woman, when she has the child, she wants to make sure the guy that she's with is able to protect the child. Mm -hmm. So we look for opposites in each other. So this is why younger women typically do better, and guys look for that. Mm -hmm. So that's to, that, that, you know, and fewer partners is a part of that. Now, am I saying a girl that's 30 years old, like is absolutely useless and she can't get married and she's going to be a, no, I'm not saying that, but the likelihood goes up as she's older. She's been in the dating marketplace longer. She's had more experiences. Those experiences might cause trauma. That trauma will affect her ability to deal with men after the fact. Trauma, dis, trauma hurts women. It builds men. It is a saying that says basically, for example, people have, you, you all... disagree with that? Go ahead, Very please. Much. Sure. Go ahead. Go ahead. Oh, wait, can you repeat that? So can, like... yeah. How do you disagree with something you didn't hear? I heard it. I heard it, but can you like repeat it so I can How do you like, disagree with something you don't even hear? Re-trigger my thought my thought process. Okay, so here's the thing. I need you to listen to what I'm saying and understand it before you make a statement back. I'm gonna tell you. you. Okay, okay. You said that ahead, trauma sure. hurts women but builds men, correct? Yes. If it doesn't kill you, yes. Okay. Um, I don't know that I completely agree with that. Uh -huh. Um, because I know a lot of men again can't speak for all men but you know there are a lot of men that are torn down by trauma childhood trauma whether mm -hmm. it's coming from a family member something outside of the family you know there are you know i don't think that it always builds them because a lot of the time men, right, but in general right okay men but, must suffer women I, don't i feel like a lot March. of the times men refuse to um, understand their traumas and go like kind of understand what they went through and um, how it affected them. Um, so I don't really think that it builds them. When we're talking about women, I mean, again, can't speak for all women, but a lot of the times women will are okay to go go to things like therapy to go through their trauma. Men are afraid of therapy. They don't like the idea or the stick. The let me clarify. When I say trauma destroys women and it builds men, what I mean by typically trauma destroys a woman's sexual market value, her attractiveness. Why? She's been through more trauma. How do women typically deal with trauma? Do they used to use drugs, alcoholics, etc. Typically promiscuity follows it. Okay? A man, if he deals with trauma and he's able to overcome it, makes him stronger. Okay. So, and a man that go, and men must suffer. I've said on this podcast, I'll say it again. As a young man, you have to go through life and suffer. You got to get punched in the face a few times. You got to maybe get in a fight. You got to work a, a physical labor job. You got to get it out the mud as a man. You must, you must become a man. Men become, women are. So that's why I'm saying trauma for men is required. It's not for women. And a lot of times it can have detrimental effects, right? Because okay. fortunately for a man, his past does not set, affect his sexual market value. A woman's past does affect her sexual market value. So trauma can have very bad consequences for her. But the man, if he doesn't overcome the trauma, it'll destroy him because his future isn't set. And a man with an unsure future, well, he eh, women look for future. Men look for past. <clears throat> That's what I mean when I say trauma. Okay. Uh, anything else? And, and disagreements? Anything? I don't disagree. I think it's I think it's because how men and women work through trauma. Like okay. I think it's also just really subjective. You know, like I think that women handle situations way like men like you see men handle things like they sit on it longer like they feel things longer i think women get very emotional i think that's like where i feel like your opinion's coming from like yeah i mean when, when typically what i've realized when 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 trauma hits women right so maybe they didn't have a father in their life or maybe they went through a drug problem or an alcohol problem or some shit in their life typically promiscuity is not far behind and unfortunately, promiscuity does hurt a woman's ability to find a man that in the future. That all stems back from attachment, which I can agree with 100%. Yeah, women, but, women need to be attached. I feel like that's yeah, biological for sure. Yeah, the woman needs to be attached mm -hmm. and the man needs to be, have the leverage, which goes back to my whole thing. I know this is toxic, but that's why I say the guy doesn't have that's to necessarily anything. cheat, but he needs to show that he can. Um, is giving That's how you keep the attraction up for yeah. the guy. Yeah, you know, actually, that's how you keep your ego up. I was just going to say, I just seen this video mm -hmm. and this guy was giving an interview and he was saying that if a woman has a dad in her life, then the sex is going to be terrible. But if a woman has daddy issues, then the sex <laughs> is going to be fire. So I just wanted to know I mean, you guys. That's, that's kind of a stretch that. though, but um, I get what you're saying. 
I mean, she's crazy. She's like not stable. She probably good sex, but I mean, just because she has a dad doesn't mean she gets bad sex either. I mean, yeah. And I, and I would argue, I think a lot of guys will take bad sex from a girl knowing that she's not a hoe over a girl that has great sex, but she is a hoe for relationship and marriage purposes. Yeah, they'll cheat with the yeah. girl. That, for they'll, cheat with, they'll cheat with her, but they'll the give the title the to the other chick. Yeah. It's <laughs> hey, I have a question. Uh, did you say that uh, women are attra attracted to men who cheat? Yes. <laughs> But that's not true. Can we like raise how, our hands? How long were you with your that? boyfriend? Five years. Thank you for proving my point. Uh, <laughs> so like, bro, like you can no, say, like, but, this is what I'm trying to say. Like, women say, I'm not no, attracted to I, that. You're a woman I, for five years. No, but I found out he was cheating like three months ago or five months ago or so. And you didn't if, leave him until you came on the podcast. <laughs> no. Which proves my point. <laughs> yeah, well, I thought that he would change, but then he didn't. Of course you thought that. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, of course. <laughs> of course you thought you that. Got, yo, you guys make this too easy, man. We just prove our stereotypes. We not stereotypes, but we prove our theories all the time yeah, on the show. Yeah, but if I would Jerry be attracted answers. to people who cheat, cheat, so then I would be with him right now. But I left him, <laughs> so that means that I'm not attracted to like men who cheat. Bro, if you called you right now and said, yo, I'm not going to cheat on you. You're the one. I no, love you. You'd would probably take him back. I would never take him back. That's okay. the cap. All right. All right. He's still on your mind. You're talking about him now. No, <laughs> he's talking not. about the he's, whole show. He's not on my mind. <laughs> okay. Fantastic. Somebody else has some? You said, did you say oh, earlier I, you disagree or you I agree? Agreed oh, with you agree with the trauma thing? Okay. Yeah. And then you. I you, disagree, but you, how you re explained it. You explained it perfectly. Yeah, I, I, it's the I, and I like what you brought up. Like it's the way they deal with the trauma that's the problem. Yeah, and I, it's, and how, I think it's how men and women just yeah they're completely different. Women deal with the trauma through sex typically. Yeah, uh, with the with versus if the guy deals with trauma versus the sex, it's not going to lower his inherent value to yeah. the opposite gender. I, it just the woman it will attachment a hundred percent. I think yeah. women need to be attached. Yeah, no, hundred percent. That's the only yeah. way you're going to keep your girl. That's the only way attached to is, is she's got to be attached because <laughs> women have way too many dating options nowadays and way too many ability. She ha they have too much variance in their ability to cheat on you and get another guy. So the only way that you can keep a girl, is she must be attached to you. Yeah. Especially in 2022 with all the options you have. So, uh, cool. Uh, chats. Actually, no, Chris, you got something you want to do, right? Go ahead. Yes. Uh, by the way, guys, uh, shout out to the chat, to the Mars, uh, one mil, Celebration! Shout out to the team in the back. Shout out to Mana Fresh. Shout out to the girls. And you guys wanted Henny Chris, but tonight you will have Champagne Chris. All right. <laughs> so you know, shout out to Mo, everybody. So I'm gonna pop this bottle. You know, uh, if you guys can hear me. Yes, sir. Move the mic a little bit closer to him. Yeah, Chris, don't hurt yourself, bro. Yeah, there you go. Yo, shout out to you guys, by the way. One mil. Yes, sir. Don't, don't, Chris, don't Woo! hurt yourself, bro. <laughs> 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 you gotta drink that bottle right now, the whole thing by himself. By himself. <laughs> Champagne Chris in the building. Champagne Chris. Um, Champagne Poppy. Okay. Um, <laughs> while he pours that, ladies, did you have anything that y'all wanted to add to that or anything like uh, like that? The agreements, disagreements, whatever. Um, I know I may have said some things that are triggering, but if, if you listen to the biological root reason, that's why. Okay. I think it's. I think the whole trauma part is interesting because I yeah. think women. Uh, I mean, I agree. Men get tougher through trauma. Um, but I also think that women inherently go through trauma in life. Life is traumatic. So I think it is about how they handle it. Um, I think it's a father's job to minimize his daughter's trauma. Mm -hmm. and, and I think that's why so many women have issues. It, it's because I look at it like, right, the father's job is to protect the daughter from like getting on a shirt pole or doing anything stupid <laughs> to lower her value. Like my job is to preserve my daughter's value. That's my fucking job. All right. So and a lot the issue is that a lot of guys don't take that job seriously or they're not in their daughter's life at all. Yeah. Right. Mm -hmm. I build that relationship with my daughter. So she has a healthy relationship with masculinity and she knows how men are supposed to operate. Mm -hmm. And then also, also, most importantly, I'm going to have to give her the cold hard truth. Hey, this is how men are. You got to preserve your value. Don't be stupid and don't fuck it up. That's what it is. You you get so you, you, you get daughter? women get the million dollars up front. Men have to earn the million dollars. Would so, you tell your daughter to put up with cheating? Absolutely. That's literally, what I yes. Ask. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. I would tell her, "You want to marry a multimillionaire like Daddy? This is what comes with the territory. <laughs> so get an average guy, or, right, and he could still cheat on you too. Mm -hmm. Or if you want to marry a millionaire, it is what it is. Like th this is this is what comes with the territory. You want to marry a rich man? You're going to have to share him sexually. You're if I gonna if, tell your daughter, if I had a daughter, right? Your tears. If I had a daughter, right? <laughs> I'll say two things to her. One is, would you rather cry in a Rolls Royce? Or Toyota Corolla. <laughs> and secondly, I'll say to her, the sweetheart, don't be delusional like most women in America. 
Yep. And it's not what it is. Either you do it or you don't. That's it. You know what's funny? We're in Romania. We spent a significant amount of time over there. Yeah. Romanian women accepted this. Oh, yeah. You know that's what, what I mean? it is. You know what I mean? Uh, like, uh, the, the, it is what it is. It's only American women that have a very um, strange uh, relationship with this concept of men having other women, etc. Like, they don't like it. Because in the United States, women are taught to be e- that they're equal to men. When in reality, you guys are not at but, all. But, but you know what it is? Not it's... saying that we're better than you. But we're not equals. Why it's, do you it's think ego. that, though? Why do you it's think ego. that they were okay with it? it are they Romanian benefiting? Women? Yeah. Because I what I've know. realized I'm is that the poorer the country, the closer people go back to their natural instincts and roots. So mm. women know, okay, uh, this guy's higher status. Other women want him. Instead of me being you know, poor and destitute on my own, I will accept the reality that higher status men are always going to have other women. And that's what it is. You want to know what's crazy to piggyback off of that? Like yeah. America has the highest divorce rate out of yes. any other country. And we're like, I wouldn't say the only country, but we basically only marry out of love. And other countries marry out of status and where it's going to get you. I think it all stems from attachment. Well, we don't you know, marry out of love anymore. Yeah. yeah. But women marry in the U.S. for to, to, to get married, not yeah. to be a wife. Yeah. That's the difference. Can I ask about women hey, in what Romania? What do I mean by that? Mm-hmm. Like Just for the title. Uh, yeah, they, they, women want to have a wedding, but they don't want to be wives. And what I mean by that is that um, women are not traditional anymore in any in, in any way. I agree with that. So yeah. But like, can but you explain you like have... your traditions? Like, what do you think a traditional I mean, it's, woman it's, is? It's, I mean, a traditional woman is exactly what it sounds like. Cooks, cleans, typically a homemaker, cares for the children. And if you mm-hmm. had that, would you but treat if... that differently, that relationship differently? No. What, do you, what do you mean? Like, would you not go out and cheat if you had a traditional woman? I, I, every girl yeah. I deal with, I tell her I'm never going to be monogamous. But I feel like a lot of men don't allow women to be like but, that. What was that? Like, I feel like a lot of men don't allow women to be submissive or, you know what I'm saying? Like, I think today, like, we have a problem where a lot that. of men don't give me the opportunity to get to that point. You know what I'm saying? Like, you want to know why? why? Because we tell me. men and we tell women that they're equal. We don't tell men that they need to be men. We don't tell women they need to be women. We tell women, go ahead and chase a career, make money, be a strong boss, and cool mm-hmm. so me right let's say i'm a guy right and i'm i become you know uh, i'm a traditional man i make my money etc all that other stuff and uh i meet a woman and she's a boss and all this other stuff she's not a traditional woman though however she still expects me to be a traditional man that's not a fair trade for me fuck that shit i don't want no power woman i don't like that i don't find that attractive mm-hmm. men don't find that attractive in general mm-hmm. we look for different things so you expect me to be a traditional man why you don't be a traditional woman that's not a fair deal i think it makes a difference that you're you you said that you would say that you're not going to be monogamous. Um, because, yeah, I'm honest about it. Yeah. Yeah. So like, there's a difference between that because if you go and that's sleep with other women, yeah. then that's not cheating because you know you you said that, that out. What did I say earlier? I explained this in detail earlier. Most men can't do it because they don't have the value to tell a girl these are the terms. Yeah. You understand? Thank you. So most most guys don't have the value to look their girl in the eye and be like, "I'm gonna have sex with other girls. Take it or leave it." And uh, sorry, I'm so, up. Uh, cheers, what? girls. Uh, what meal on YouTube? So cheers to that. Woo! Great to toast. Shout out to you guys. Uh, cheers to my chat. wife. Shout out to cheers to all y'all. One million, one million uh, subscribers. What? What? Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, okay, thank you. I wait, appreciate wait, it. Wait, wait, yo, Myron, are you, are you drinking? No, it's Red Bull. No, no, no. It's Red Bull. Oh. Uh, God damn, I was excited. <laughs> All right, yeah, guys. Uh, toast to a million subscribers and me triggering y'all a little bit. I hope I hope not. And ladies on the couch as well. Cheers. Shout out to y'all. Cheers. 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 I feel like we need to hear this so we can, you know, know how guys think. There you go. And I always say if women uh, listen to what we said on this show, they'd be deadly. But they don't. They don't want to listen. They'll be like, "Fuck this shit, man. I'm. I ain't changing." It's so, better than living in a lie, you know. Yeah. No. I, I mean, um. So you, uh, someone was saying something. C- can I ask a question? Funny. Sure. Okay. Um. I'm just wondering, like, the women in Romania, like, how are they? Are they like a couple things? Are they saving themselves for marriage to a man with multiple wives, and are they more successful, and are they happier than us? Well, I mean, in the U.S., they've shown that as feminism has become more and more progressive, women's happiness levels have actually gone down alongside it because, okay. you know, I mean, I think I, I think this is pretty common that most girls realize that they're true. Most women are happiest around people. Women tend to be more interested in people. Men tend to be more interested in things. things. So, like, when a woman goes and chases a career and sits in a cubicle all day, well, she's not interacting with children. She's not interacting with people as much. She's chasing her career, etc., there's a reason why women since the beginning of time have wanted to get security and provisioning and have a family. And I think that's where women derive their pleasure from mostly. You know, men are designed to create things. Women are designed to create children. 
But mm-hmm. if we're at home, then we're interacting with less people. You, like have your, you, have, you have your children. You can go ahead and you have more free time to go socialize with your girlfriends if you want. You know, you can have your wife parties and all this other stuff. So we're allowed to do that. OK, I mean, it's not about allowed. It's just my point I'm trying to make is that it, women derive in general if I line up 100 women. Right. Most of them are going to prefer a family over a career. And for those women out there that say, I want both. It's very, you, you can't have it all. You can either be a very strong career woman, a woman or. You could be a mother, but you can't be a great mom and while simultaneously also being a great career woman. Why? One's got to give to some degree. Why? Why can't you? I mean, you just can't have it all. Because the income? thing is, who says that you income? can't have? Okay, so yeah. here's the problem because the, the math doesn't make sense, ladies. That's why. Look at Kylie Jenner. She's a yeah. badass mom and she's a badass boss. <laughs> she's a and that right she's there is why. Right. Oh, that she does not work. She's a terrible mom. Yeah. That one is not working. Yeah. Yeah. She's not working. You, she's you think, you're, you work think work she's working? Work. Yeah. Yeah. That she's not really working. And, she's and a terrible that's, mom. That's, this is what I mean when I say this is the danger because women look up to people like her, Kim Kardashian, etc., and they think I can be a billionaire, I could be a boss babe while having a family. But what they don't realize is that as a woman climbs the ladder and makes more money and becomes successful, her ability to find a man dwindles with that. As a man gets more status, his ability to get more girls goes up. As a woman goes more status, her ability to find a man goes down. And you could argue that a woman could go to work and take care of the kid. But let's be real here. The time difference between work and the kid itself is going to be very slim to none. Because if you're working as a lawyer, so a professional, you got to be at your job. And it may take training more days than not. Your child's going to suffer. So I, you could say, yeah, you could be superwoman, all that shit. But like time-wise, it doesn't make sense. No, and on top of that... You- You've you've literally you've become the man that you want, yeah. and that man that you want doesn't want you. Bam, L- ladies, l- let that sink in. When you become the boss, babe, you make the money, you're successful, you've made partner at the law firm, you've become the man that you want, and the man that you want doesn't want you. And whose fault is that, though? The woman's fault because she's fault. the one that decided that career. Yeah. We're thinking that it was going to make her attractive. That's society. What if I went to beauty school? Think about this, ladies. Let me use your logic. I went to beauty school. And I'm really good at doing nails and I'm really I'm a <laughs> handsome ass guy. I'm pretty as fuck. Yeah, see, see what I'm saying now? Right? And I and I really took care of myself. I get manicures every week. I'm fucking handsome. But I don't got no money. I'm broke. Whatever. But I'm, hey man, I'm a boy, so I'm really attractive. Are y'all gonna take me seriously? No. no, because who gives a fuck about a man's beauty? No one cares. Just like no one cares about a woman's ability to provide security and money. No one so cares. What do you it's mean? great. I'm handsome, right? It's good. Eye candy, but you're not gonna take me seriously. <laughs> Same thing with a lot of women that have money. Men don't care about that stuff. What do you yes. suggest a woman does until she's in that position to have a family or kids? I, I mean, I, I start as soon as possible. I, I I tell girls like, yo, as soon as it, 18, 19, 20, fine, try to lock a guy down when you're at your at your peak. Locking him down as in? Get a relationship. You might have to date a guy that's older, that's like, has that in his mind. But, mm-hmm. you know, I, I mean, like the thing, the, the issue that a lot of girls have is they try to leave the casino, right? They, they, they keep gambling, thinking they're going to get a better deal. But it's like, no, just leave when the chips are up, when you have the highest chance. But the problem is that you got to leave at maybe 10 p.m. knowing that the casino closes at 6 a.m. But most girls want to stay till 6 a.m. Mm-hmm. And the problem is that if you wait till 6 a.m., guess what? You might not, you, you might leave with the chips down. She belongs to the streets. So, and I think that's, that's the Russian roulette that a lot of girls play and, and fail a lot um, of times. I have an interjection though. Um, yeah. I did the whole age gap thing, dating. Yeah. And uh, I was young and he was like controlling and cheated on me and it didn't provide did what I money? needed. Did he have money? Uh, not, I don't think. So. Well, I mean, I don't know. Not millions. No. I mean, does we, was he a higher earner in general? He's like a pro athlete. Oh, he's gonna fuck bitches, bro. Come on. <laughs> so what do you mean? Come on. Pro athlete, entertainer, whatever. It, it, it's you're sharing him automatically. My ex boyfriend was a football pl- or a soccer player, as he said. And you thought he was gonna be monogamous to you? What do you expect? Because no. we were young. So no, we got in the relationship. Yeah. Where? So you say if you're Where a soccer player, so is you say. Yo, accountability. <laughs> It's not there. But, but let me say, when you're 19, you don't understand that. You just know what your Stupid. parents did, and you have curfews your whole life. You don't understand. But let me ask you a question. If you're 19 years 19 years old and you get caught with 10 kilos of cocaine, can you go to the cops and be like, bro, I was 19, man. I didn't know. Nope. No, right? You're an adult. You're an adult, man. You're an adult. You're an adult. 
So it's like, I, and I, that's that's why I said, what did I say before? That's why fathers are important. Yeah. That's mm -hmm. why dads are important. Because yeah. they could go ahead and meet your boyfriend, slice him up. This nigga's a bum. Fuck out of here. You're no, not dating that's what him. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Simple. That's why dads are so, so important. Because your father, your brother, hopefully your cousin as well, are the only, and your uncle, are the only guys in your life that are trying to fuck you. And when they're not trying to fuck you, guess what? They're going to give you advice that's conducive to your success. They're going to size the guy up and make sure he's not a fucking bum or a loser or just trying to smash and run away. Yeah. That's why it is so important to have the father in a household. I would argue your your dad, a lot of the times, is is your best friend when it comes to helping you find a good, actual, long-term boyfriend mm -hmm. or husband. Because mm -hmm. think about it. He's the one taking a risk. If this nigga can't support you, I got to continue to support yep. you. <laughs> if you get pregnant, it's on me. It's yep. on me. Shit. So I'm, 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 you best believe I'm going to tell the truth. You want to marry that multimillionaire? Cool. Understand you ain't going to be the only one. Just get the ring. Get married to him. Have a child. Cool. If he divorces you, he's going to get punished for it. You take half his money. That's what I tell my daughter. Just make sure that you get the ring. Who cares if he fucks other bitches? Uh, daughter? My, I, yeah, my daughter. Is my son? Yeah, I mean, son, daughter, like... Yeah, if I, I had like, my daughter, if I had a daughter, oh, that's what I'll tell her. Okay. I'll tell her, accept that cold, hard reality. Like, that, you cannot Marina? have a... You can't have a high-value man to yourself. You can't. Do you have any kids? No, I don't. Hell no. Okay. I'll no. But, if I, but if I did, I would tell her that. <laughs> if I did, I would tell her that. I mean, I come from a... See, here's the thing. I, this is why I like Islam. It's fairly realistic, right? I grew up in a Muslim Hello. household. You can have up to four wives. <laughs> and there's a reason for that. You know what I mean? Because men are naturally promiscuous, and they want to have multiple women. So... But here's a, the checks and balances is you got to be able to support all four of them the same. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? So you can't be a bum and do that shit, which mm -hmm. is which, co co you know, coincides with what we said. You can't have multiple girls unless you, you're a man of status. So, yeah. Anyway, uh, anything else, Chris? Oh, uh, yeah. Chats. All right. I'll read these chats and then uh, we'll turn it over to ladies. Chris, and then close uh, 15 up, right? Uh, from here, a little bit, but this also because we got a lot. That was okay. a good question. What was that? Sorry, I was like, that was a good question. Which one? About this that, one? like, abusive relationships. Uh, don't worry. Well, no, nah, uh, let's just focus on what's okay. here. Showing love to FNF for the one million. No, to, no cap today, ladies. Please, too late. Question, Myron. Do women ever take accountability for dating an abusive man? Is there is it their choice to be there? A pro feminist told me some females don't even know how to pick up red flags from men, making it impossible to leave them from the start. Um, as tonight, there was some stu some recent research that came out that showed that uh, women respond very favorably to negative treatment, typically for men, and then men respond very positively to uh, positive treatment from women, if that makes sense. like it, So in other words, men appreciate compliments from women versus women don't appreciate compliments from, from men. men yeah. Because it's rare for men to get compliments versus it's very common for women to get comp compliments. That's why bad boys do well with women. You know what I mean? Because they don't compliment and you know blow sunshine up their ass all the time. Are you guys still recruiting in, in home security? I'm an 80-year-old convicted i mean 20 year old looking for employment let me know willing to walk the ladies to their car and everything Bill cosby. Bill cosby. okay thanks Bill cosby i appreciate that the legend tick born congratulations ladies much love and respect from australia shout out to man hey! Hey! Congrats, lads. Yo, i see well, europe well, well, uh usd well, well. canada etc a question for the panel where do you see yourself in five years single married or divorced hmm. Hmm. interesting okay real quick cleveland we'll start with you single married divorce five years shoot uh farther to to married than any of the other. So ones. still single then? I'll be 27. I'll probably be looking to get married. Will you be married though? Long term relationship. Okay. Going towards fiance. What about you, Miss Finland? What are you going to be? Give us one of the three though single, married, or divorced? Married. Pick one. Married? Married. Probably still married. Okay. She said probably. <laughs> probably okay. still married. If I don't break I up with him. 100K. To be okay. Huh? I said I would hope to be married. What are you going to be though? Married. Okay. Married. Okay. Married. Okay. Oh, damn. Okay. Are you at 23? I hope. Yeah. Oh, By 25. Yeah, jump in, jump in. Yeah. Uh, five uh, years from now, single, married, married or divorced? Married? married? What about you? Oh, married kids, hopefully. Oh, shit. Kid, with the kids, too. Kids. Single, yeah. probably. Single. Okay. Married. All right. Everyone has wishful thinking. <laughs> Only one girl here is real. No, I'm just kidding. In what about years, you? Single, married, or, or where divorced? Where do you want to be? Single, in married, divorced? Years? Yeah. Talking oh. to the mic. I don't know. Just say Keep it on to the street. No. Uh, <laughs> Chris is on your ass Chris, today. Chris, you are on me. Um, Literally on you. I think I'd be Ow. single with kids. I'd prefer marriage. Ouch. I just I just don't believe in it anymore. Okay. All right. Uh, FNF 2023, two mail by August. All right. Smoking, eating, sipping with 
Two Red Bones celebrating one million. Hey, City Boys, we up. Good stuff. Just man. Jimmy McElroy goes, ladies, would you agree having a 304 phase means having no self-respect? What's yeah. that? A whole yeah. thing. A whole phase. You want to go around on that one? Nah. Yeah, bro, you already know what they're going to say. Yeah, they're, they're not going <laughs> to be was honest. Uh, I'm not going to lie. I'm a Christian man filled by the spirits, but no pastor thought me about female nature. Taught me, I think he meant. As sinners as y'all are, I swear you all are doing God's work. Love you, my fresh Chris and Mo. Yeah, man, we just we got to remember, my friend, uh, religion is no longer a buffer in 2022 for uh, human action. It's not the same, bro. Uh, congrats on the 1 million subs, guys. Question for the ladies. If the marriage laws change in men's favor, would you still want to marriage? Bro, they don't even know the men's favors. <laughs> their, or, their, or their advantages a lot of the time. My, well, they know the advantages. Uh, question for the ladies. What is your favorite sex position? <laughs> Bro, every show. Every <laughs> show. Shout out to Michael. Yeah, Michael. shout out to Michael Mistroke, man. Uh, where are we at, Chris? It's 20, right? Yeah, 20. Yeah, it's, it's from from before. Chris. All right, or no, 50, actually. 50, Chris. 50? Yeah, but... Uh, all right, cool. Just like, just okay. like a drunk, bro. <laughs> Women hey. know how to make an argument from scratch, but can't make a meal from scratch. Girl, you're cooking the wrong beef. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> oh all right, that was actually pretty clever. Um, <laughs> if not, we can go back to the 20s. All right, two things. First, love the nostalgic Dragon Ball Z notepad. Thank you. Second, third girl down from Myron. What's the insta? Whatever you heard, I didn't do it. Just ask Myron. He can vouch me. What's your Instagram? Underscore E-S-A-K-A-V. Send your dick pics there, guys. Oh. Uh, <laughs> Young Trey, ninety six hundred bucks. Thank you very Don much. I appreciate that, sir. <laughs> uh, congratulations on one million and uh, started my process on the ATM business. Thanks to you guys and Paul Alex. I should have it up and running by the end of the month. Much love. Shout out to you. Nice. Guy, entrepreneurs out here. Congratulations, FNF. I would love to come to uh, the party in Miami, but I'm on deployment until March. I'll see you guys sometime next year at the meetup for sure, though. Thanks for everything I'll do. Hey, thanks for your service, uh-huh. Godfather RP. Um, what else do we got here? Uh, Noah goes, broke 20-year-old living at home, trying to get my money up, but currently making $2,500 a month. Should I move out and take the extra loss or stay home and continue to increase cash flow? Congrats on one mil. Yeah, stay home and cr- increase home, your cash bro. flow, bro. Stay home. Because all you're going to do is be poor and struggling and, and not be able to save. Uh, peer seeing, perceiving anything podcast. Okay. Uh, let's go. FNF over one million. Thanks for all the free game and advice y'all put out for everyone on top of all the great entertainment. Been watching since the first tape video. And been about it ever since. Also, like the damn video. Yes. Shout out to you. As y'all know, good, a good friend of the podcast. Um, him and his brother, Tristan. Yeah. Uh, let's see here. Grateful for all the work Meyer Fresh and Chris do behind the scenes and Big Mo for making sure the audio is smooth. Make sure to be on the lookout for his new single, Nwantiti. Coming out this month, Shawty Icy and Rod Eric. Cool. Thanks, Grails. I appreciate that. Grails Vision? Nwantiti. Uh, is that how it goes? Okay. Yeah. Uh, congrats on one million. Been watching y'all since Kevin Samuels came on, changed my entire life, left my bum ex-wife, smashed like two dozen <laughs> chicks since then. About to buy my first house, make it well over hundred thousand dollars a year. City boys, we have BBC gang. Shout out to you, Benjamin <laughs> oh Banks. BBC gang. Yeah, I'll, I'll be honest with y'all, man. The only way that you guys can stick it back to a woman after she breaks up with you, etc., is by success. So success, bro. They, they, they don't give a fuck about nothing else, man. That's the only way. And even then, she probably won't even care. But who yeah. cares? It, it is what it is. This panel proves there's no hope. Myron, I'm on my way. The, the asteroid, asteroid is coming. coming. <laughs> Alvin Sam goes, uh, another quote from the empirical study posted by Daily Mail about the promiscuity. Monogamous marriage has an inherent defect. Ladies, men naturally prefer m- multiple women. Mm. Anybody have anything to say on that? Good for you. <laughs> <laughs> it's not never really. I think, I, if anything, it's bad for us. Guys would love to be loyal if they could be sexually. All right, ladies, imagine you had to pee so bad you don't know if you can hold it. And someone is in the bathroom and there's no appropriate place to go. You can't focus on anything until you pee. Men's urge feels like that. It gets worse until released. That's raw dog. Does that make sense, ladies? That's so in the I woods. Agree. That's a very fair <laughs> is comparison. That sense? Sense. Yeah. Someone said what? Is that going in the woods? I would say it's a fair, yeah. That's how men feel about sex a lot of times. Like, you, you got to pee, you got to fucking just do it. And that's, so that's what they jerk off. So there's like no faithful men out here. There's no like no. high earner, as you guys say. Mm-hmm. He's not faithful. Probably We're saying not. it's going to be difficult for him to be faithful. I mean, obviously speaking, there may be one or two. In the whole world, but that, that's not the point. The yeah. point is, it's tough. Yeah, we're saying we're going off of it's a high likelihood that it's a no. Yeah. So, yeah. And, and honestly, I would argue if a man is a higher earner, why should he be faithful? You don't think that this is like a Miami thing? No, nah. it's a worldwide thing. No, I think it's Miami thing because no. in Europe, I never hear this. In Europe, they won't yeah. tell you. We just duh. came from there. No, but in Europe, it's so different. Nobody talks like. Cheating is okay. Yeah, it's no, just no. not put out there. They won't in the say open. it to your face, but it'll do it behind your back. Exactly. Gladly. Yeah, but it's still cheating if you don't say it. It doesn't matter if I don't know it or if I know it. Since the beginning of time, 
the highest status men, the kings, the sultans, the, the, the knights, whatever it is, they've always had multiple women. They've always had concubines. That's how it's been. Yeah, but I'm never going to agree that people... Like, why do you want somebody to feel like me, like how I'm feeling right now? That's your problem. You're letting your feelings feel dictate everything. No, but he, made, Finland, he made the feeling for fuck me. Fuck your feelings, Miss Finland. I'm telling you how it really is. Fuck this, <laughs> Yes, fuck your feelings because they're keeping you from reality. I'm telling you reality, but you keep saying, I don't like this. I don't I don't think it's right. Uh, My no, feelings. <laughs> and I'm saying, I'm saying your feelings oh, are crazy. irrelevant. We don't care about the feels. We care oh, about the then reals. You don't, then you just need to be alone and not be with anybody. That <laughs> might be. And here's the thing. That might be the option for you since you can't take it. No. That might be the option no, for you where you got to just be alone. No, next time when I'm going to come here, I'm going to have a loyal guy and he's not going to check me. <laughs> You think you're gonna? You think you're gonna find a loyal guy that is an athlete, a pro athlete? No, and For it's actually. Sure. She's actually said herself before the show started <laughs> that there's a ton of listeners and watchers and supporters in her own country in Finland. Yeah, there is. Oh. Many I'm... people have DM me like after I was here. So many people say that they watch it and they're from Europe or Finland so or Sweden. Okay, so think about that for a second. If guys watch our podcast in your own country. <laughs> right and mm. they agree with what we're saying no they what? didn't agree <laughs> sure but they watch so us why are they watching yeah Let but me... they didn't agree about the you do realize that they're cheating. telling you they didn't agree so that they can sleep with you right Take a smash yeah, yeah. <laughs> you do yeah. realize that right yeah. that men will say and do anything to get laid yeah pretty much yeah but i won't do it if i don't want to <laughs> but they're trying yeah but they can try anybody can try but yeah, that's sure. the point is they're they're lying to, to to try yeah but i don't care if they lie because they are not my boyfriends <laughs> Okay. They, they must love your. Are you, next question. They must love your, your charisma. Yeah, I'm yeah. telling you, they love it. <laughs> Every time. All right. Do not commit to promiscuous women's slide in and slide out. Be like the water, Bruce Lee. Shout out to you, Doctor <laughs> Matt Rose, Rostami, MD. MD. Uh, Man want Zena, high value female status, single and ready to drain your bank accounts. Uh, Zena the, the witch. witch. Is that Zena? Uh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. All right, Zena. King life. Uh, the bank show your insecurity with your forehead. What the? F oh. This thing oh. Is uh, Nick was talking shit. All no. right. <laughs> Zena Smith Fax, Brie Diza. Wait, is that her other account? Uh, no. 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 Okay. Uh, all right. What, what else we got here? Well, it was another female supporter. Uh, it was another female. Okay. We got a lot of women watching us, man. Yeah. Shout out to y'all. EB all says, from Australia. Congratulations. Thank Don you. Under. Fresh, you got this. Vlad says from Romania, Romanian girls are beautiful and are feminine. They're also submissive. But in the same time, guys here are pretty tough and don't take BS easily. Both genders exactly. have high standards for each other. By the way, gyms are full here. We take care of our looks. Very true. Yeah. We, we had a bet with Justin Waller, and he said to us, hey, guys, if you can find a fat woman in Romania under 40, let's place a bet. And we didn't. I think we found one in the we mall. We found one after but, being in Romania for, for like two weeks, two weeks, and we had to look for her. Crazy. Everyone's I couldn't ashamed. find a fat girl there, bro. Yeah. Really? It was crazy. Yeah. What's yeah. their diet like? Uh, good food. They, I mean, I mean, yeah, I mean, just from America. Yeah, they, I mean, yeah. the portions really is what it is. They just yeah, control their portions. Smaller. If they allow their men to cheat, they have to stay in shape all day long. It's not. It's not about that. It's just that women understand male nature better there because, like I said before, typically the poorer the country, the more people regress back to their natural gender roles. Is circumcision normal there? That's a good question. We because I have no, a not. feeling. I don't know. That's a strange question. It's not. This is not a, it's a, it's a Jewish. Um, That's why the women not. love you. I can't believe somebody pay five hundred dollars to say that. No, no, no. It's it's a hundred U.S. It's Romanian. Yeah. Uh, okay. Uh, okay. <laughs> to, to be the leader goes novelty of uh, love fades. It comes to a choice. We can transition to a love that's fed by a day to day appreciation of what other person in here now, or we can end the relationship and go in search of another roller coaster ride. Book molecule of more. Okay. Oh, he's saying like the first uh, honeymoon phase of the relationship is great, but if it doesn't work out, just go to somebody else. Yeah, and and I would argue, bro, if your girl's not giving you sex, you need to break up with her immediately. I sh I didn't even get my opinion on that. Yeah, you need she's cheating, and you need to break up with her immediately because that is a woman's prime utility is sexuality. If she can't give you that, no offense, ladies, she's effectively useless. Or she's not into you. Well. Yeah. So uh, men and women are not the same. Think about why women are on the front lines in combat. Maybe he means whether no, 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 he's trying to be funny. Oh, Women okay. are never on the front lines of combat. Sometimes they are, but oh. rarely, you know, um, let's see here. Could you, and, and I would argue, I don't even think women should be in combat positions. Personally, I don't, I don't think they should be. I mean, I don't know if anybody has a comment on that, but yeah. 
Uh, Why are we equal? <laughs> no, they shouldn't lower the standards. <laughs> okay, that's fair. Like, fair enough. That, yeah, yeah. I, I think there's. I agree. I think there should be one standard too, but they're never going to do that. They have to lower standards for women to be able to uh, join in. Z, could you ask the ladies if they would realistically survive in a third world country? Perhaps they wouldn't be so new wave feminist or entitled that they truly understand suffering outside the protection of the U.S. or first world countries. Yeah, I mean, bro, it's uh, like I said before. Uh, you guys, this this whole equality thing and women being masculine, it's a very, it's, it's a very, it only occurs in first world countries where yeah. women behave like that. It, it doesn't really happen in other places. The women tend to be a little bit more feminine in other places, but it is what it is, man. If your masculinity is high, even if a chick is masculine as fuck. You can get her in line. You know what I mean? I've dealt with a, plenty of boss babes and, you know, assertive, dominant, competitive women, even though it's a pain in the ass. I don't take them seriously. I just fuck them. But, you know, I, you can you can, you can can definitely it. get them in their feminine, but it's more work. You can wrangle the crocodiles, but do you want to keep them out the house? No. Yeah. I like that. Wrestle with the crocodiles, but do you want to keep them in the house? Yeah, no, true. you don't. Yeah, you don't. Okay, so ladies. You don't want to bring them back to your house, okay? <laughs> of course not. <laughs> Leave at their house. But yeah. So ladies on the panel, we're going to close out the show. However, Here we go. comments questions last last thoughts on the show in your opinion and we'll start right here last thoughts last... all right <laughs> no no couch, couch. we always oh, started with her last time right okay, okay yeah so we'll Kevin. start with miss cleveland comments okay. questions last thoughts on the um, show um i feel like this time we got a little more fired up than usual but um <laughs> oh my god <laughs> oh, no. Fresh. But, um yeah i think i think you know just take care of yourself like Sometimes it's a man's world. Sometimes it's a woman's world. And just understand that from a woman's perspective, from a man's perspective, take care of your body. I would argue it's a woman's world in the United States. It, it, it might too. well be. You're, you're, you're onto something. I don't know. I haven't thought about it that much. But <laughs> I can't think of a right or a privilege that a man has that a woman doesn't. It might be more of a woman's world here. I, I, I really haven't put that much thought into it, but it, I know it has been a man's world up until about a hundred or so years ago. All right. Um, so, you know, take care of yourself, work on your body, work on your mind, get your degree, get your high paying job. And oh, so do all find, the things that we told you would actually hurt and, you for finding a guy. When Fantastic. You find someone <laughs> who aligns with you, treat them well and, and don't screw it up. What did I say earlier? When you become the man that you want, that guy doesn't want you. I don't think it hurts me that I like like to do well in no it, it doesn't and... it doesn't hurt you of course it doesn't hurt you but what i'm saying is that it hurts your ability to find a guy but you think so if i tell you okay like i have a degree and like a, a good job that doesn't stress me out but that i make good money at like that's a turn off no i didn't say that i'm saying you're going to be turned off by more men now oh if you make a hundred thousand yeah. dollars a year you only want guys to make a hundred thousand dollars a year typically or more. yeah or more so but, guess what? You've lowered your pool of candidates. Right, but I, that doesn't that raises my standards, which is kind of a beneficial thing to me. Not necessarily because there's less of those guys that meet those standards, which means you have a smaller pool of candidates. Well, now I'm not impressed by less, basically. Okay, you look. I, I guess you want to look at the glasses half uh, full, but the reality is, well, if there's less of those guys to go around, who has the leverage? The, the guys. Fantastic. Gotcha, bitch. So <laughs> if you're okay with that, then fine. It doesn't hurt to do well in life for yourself. And when you find good people, treat them right and do what you need to do to keep them around. It's mm -hmm. the face every time. time. What? Because <laughs> because she's giving generic poor advice. I mean, yeah. like that's cool. I get it. That I, sounds listen, good. Man, sounds good. I'm not saying don't go to school, ladies. I'm not saying don't get educated. I'm not saying don't make your own money. No, I'm saying there's consequences to it. It's not all upside. You're but gonna have protection. a hard time finding a guy. What's it's up? Pro it's it's protection. I see my education as a protection. I see my job as a protection because I don't need from you. But that protection comes at a cost. Is it my comes point. at a cost, yeah. but I, I also am safer because of it. Okay. Still comes at a cost. <laughs> it does come at a cost, but I'm willing to pay that price to stay safe. I don't need someone in my life, or I'm gonna be homeless. <laughs> <laughs> All right, what, Ms. Finland, uh, so what about you? Okay, well, thanks I'm for sorry. inviting me again here. And <laughs> I'm going to say that even I'm blonde, so I'm never going to agree with the fact that everybody Stupid. Cheats. <laughs> what does your hair color have to do with agreeing no, with logic? Like, because I don't understand the point why you say that everybody cheats, because it's not the truth. Yeah. And Wait. I don't think, like, the feeling I'm having right now, so I don't know why you would like to have, like... Make that feeling. <laughs> okay, I'm not gonna say it then, but 
that's just my opinion, and I think you're wrong. I'm and wrong I'm about what specifically? That everybody cheats. I never said everybody. I said most. In general. Okay, well then, you said most. Yes, overwhelmingly most. Okay, well then. So what was wrong about what I said? No, that sounds better to my ears. <laughs> <laughs> and then the third thing I'm gonna Incredible. ask is that did I speak more than last time because I didn't hear that somebody had a comment and say that I that I barely even said anything. You spoke too much this time. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, oh, God damn. That's better. Uh, Please save us. Yeah. All right. I saw you shaking your head when I said something earlier. Did you, something you want to add or disagree with or something like that? Oh, no. I mean, I really enjoyed hanging out with y'all, talking about, and I really learned a lot about guys. Speak to Mike. Oh, shit. Okay. Um, <laughs> anything you disagree with or anything like that or no actually you had some really good points and i just learned a lot more about how guys think and i really appreciate that cool oh, look. and your only fans my only fans <laughs> is onlyfans.com slash mandy morgan xoxo yeah yeah mandy morgan. All, the, all the links are below guys hell yeah let's go if you guys want to <laughs> whack your meat to girls on a panel fucking weirdos uh okay <laughs> uh Hey man, it's whatever. Uh, okay, what what, uh, what about you? Uh, last uh, disagreements, comments, last thoughts, whatever. Nothing. All right, awesome. Pinned <laughs> woman. What about you? Um, first of all, I appreciate you guys for having me on the show. Hey um, y'all. <laughs> that's crazy um, I definitely actually agree with a lot of what you guys said. Okay. Um, Misogyny. Call it what you want. Yeah, you're a misogynist uh, then. I mean. <laughs> Everybody has their opinions. Um, <laughs> and, just I just wanted, <laughs> and I just wanted to also say shout out to Detox for inviting me on the show tonight. Okay, cool. Much shout out to Detox. So, yeah. Shout out to Detox. Cool. Yeah, it's always good to hear the different opinions. Um, and I appreciate you guys having me back. Cool. Cool. Um, thanks for having me back. I love the show. I love hearing everyone's different perspectives. Stop the cap. <laughs> <laughs> um, I you already know that I agree with a lot of the things you said. Stop the cap. So. You just don't um, like the cheating thing. Well, actually, yeah, I don't like the cheating thing, but I'd rather have my man come to me and tell me that he wants to spice things up and we can do it together. Like, don't go behind my back and do it. Do okay. it with me. <laughs> All right. And why are you laughing? Oh no, no, I, I just have a um, <laughs> kind of a prior engagement. You know, that's, that's all. Oh, okay. Cool. Real Fresh. quick, before we go to her, allegedly, Ridge. I was gonna segue into this a little bit better. Oh fuck, my bad. It's all good. Anyhow, guys, <laughs> since we're talking about payments and everything like that, our sponsor is Ridge Wallet. Guys, niggas blow, niggas. this is a titanium wallet that has you can hold cards, thirty cards, and cash as well. Guys, recently I lost my wallet. Really sad. You really did. But stupid. They came through with the wallet and dude, relax, bro. It made mistakes. Stupid. My boyfriend stupid. sold those. <laughs> sold these? Yes. That's really good. And um, yeah, they're durable. <laughs> Drop them. They're titanium, guys. So honestly, it's a great wallet. It has a bunch of features that Myron's gonna tell us right now. Oh shit. Uh no, you stupid. get the features, bro. <laughs> okay. So here we go. This nigga. Oh my god. <laughs> All right, guys. It has uh, it holds up to twelve cards plus room for cash. There's over thirty colors and styles, including carbon fiber and uh, burnt titanium. And yeah, man, it's just a thin wallet, man. Nice profile. It, not gonna you know be all bulky and weird and shit like that. So yeah, man, get a goddamn ridge wallet. There you go. Uh, Fresh to fit is the code below. And Chris steals your wallet. <laughs> Four days from Opalaka. Yo, well, you just ran your pocket. To be fair, um, <laughs> we, just saw, we just saw robbery occur right on air. Good job, Chris, you fucking dummy. <laughs> you might go to jail now. 4K. Call it 4K. 4K, bro. Uh, Can't miss that head. Sponsored by Ridge Wallet. Yes. There you go. Link is below, guys. Fresh and fit for 10% off, I think, is a yeah. discount code. So. Get, get I the bet it's you at a party taking out Ridge Wallet. Yeah, yeah, nigga. If, yeah. As a matter of fact, don't use anyone else's code. Use our shit. Facts. Fuck everybody else. We're the best. There you go. All right, where are we at? Back to the regular schedule sure program. Our sponsor would love that. Thank you. <laughs> Please, professional podcast ever. Oh, awesome. You guys are awesome. I had so much fun this time. This panel was way better Return. than last time. This panel was way better than last time. It's so many intelligent people. Some are really funny. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now I remember. Yeah. Shout out to Mo. For cracking me up all night. So. No, literally, for, uh, like literally, we can't stop I laughing. I can't sit here <laughs> all night. Wait, how do y'all see Mo? He has been cracking us. If up you see for us laughing randomly, hours. like yeah. just know that we have. I the swear, perfect tomorrow view. I'm gonna have a six oh, pack. Oh shit! Okay, all right, fair <laughs> enough. Um, yeah, uh, yeah, it was a tough panel last time when it's you were here. Horrible. Uh, yeah, those girls were really dumb. So dumb. Sorry, yeah. girls. I love you. 
Yeah. Stupid. What, do you? <laughs> what about you? No, this panel was good. This no, you guys were cool. smart. Yeah, this was a good panel. All right, what about what about you? Um, first, shout out to Detox for having me on the show. <laughs> this was a really great time. At first, I was like OD nervous. Like, oh my god, they're gonna freaking roast me. What what, what had you nervous? Well, I watched two of you guys' podcasts before this. Or did you yes. watch clips? No. Yeah. Well, the first one we did. The second one, I only made it like an hour and a half through. But still, Masagi. I was like, oh, my gosh. Masagi. Like, I agree with what you guys say. But sometimes the the, the delivery is just a Masagi. little bit aggressive. But overall, I had a really great time. This was fun. And yeah. From watching the podcast, would it be fair to say that um, direct communication is uh, you know, women lack the ability to take direct communication sometimes? To take direct communication, yeah, like the truth, like being because you said the delivery. I would I wouldn't say my delivery is off. It's just I'm direct and I say what it is. Mm, no, I think tone is the thing too because I was always taught it's not what you say, it's how you say it. So sometimes you're just like, yeah, typical. Like, like yeah. how you just said, you said fuck your feelings. I was like, <laughs> damn. <laughs> yeah, but I, I said that after multiple times of her making emotional arguments. No, yeah, so, I get it. Yeah. I, not I agree, but I get it. Yeah, but... it's not how you would approach. I get it. I get yeah. it. Yeah, but I will say this: if I say one plus one is two, or one plus one is fucking two, does it change the fact it's two? No, it's still fucking two. Yeah, <laughs> I, I think uh, one thing that this podcast also highlights is very interesting is that women are more concerned with how information is conveyed versus what is conveyed. Yeah. So, for example, if I say something and it's true and it's factual, but they don't like the way it was said, it doesn't matter. Yeah. But if I say something that is completely stupid, didn't make any sense, isn't factual, but I said it per- nicely. They'll take that. I agree. Yeah. Pullman, I, I've realized just from talking to a lot of girls, women put a lot of stake in how something is said versus what is said. Mm-hmm. So, interesting. Agreed. Um, it's my first time, but as much Asagi. as I think that a lot terrible? of it is subjective arguments, not objective at all. What was subjective? Just It's very opinionated, which is nothing wrong with that. I think it's also refreshing. I think it's important to hear different things. I think that it's important to also understand, like, as women... That you don't have to match this new wave feminist. You know what I'm saying? I'm yeah. I'm Middle Eastern, mm-hmm. so I think that haram. Yeah. Yeah. Why is your hair not covered? Goddamn it! I know lots not covered. Haram. Haram. But I feel like it's okay. It's okay to not live up to like our societal new standard. You know what I'm saying? Like it's not there as much as people shame it. I feel like merch. You know, merch. There's nothing. There's nothing wrong. You know, with being feminine. Oh, okay. You're yeah. okay. You're saying you're saying there's nothing wrong with adhering to traditional values. No, there's nothing wrong versus, with it. Versus this new age modernization. Yeah, I think that. Okay. I think honestly, I think it's right. destructive, but a okay. little bit. March. Okay. All right. Fair enough. <laughs> what about you? Um, I don't really have too much to say. Thanks for having me. Good talk. Asagi. She heard me call her I stupid when like... I never even did it. <laughs> stupid. Because it was the way you worded it. See, but... That's a perfect example. Exactly. Said it. Yeah. They, I, I, I said you're that. a woman. You don't understand. And she took from that. He called me stupid. And I was like, stupid. I didn't, it, but it that was Chris calling you stupid. It was the way you worded it. But stupid. I'm um, not gonna let you get the chance. <laughs> <laughs> but Shout um, six nine. Yeah, good talk. You know, it's always good to hear different opinions. You ask good um, questions. Yeah, it's, it's good. You know, we can agree to disagree on some things. Yeah. Um I would say that most of the things we said, ladies, were facts though. Yeah. Most of the things we said is in general how men really think you and might not like things. It, you might not like it, but you know, or you might think it's an opinion, but it is an objective fact. For example, men prefer women that are younger. Fact. Men prefer women that aren't hoes. Fact. I mean, in general. Okay. <laughs> Anyways. Stupid. Listen to my artists on all platforms, Yops and Cosmo. Uh, check them out. All right. Cool. All right. What about you, Miss yeah, Retired I, Police Officer? Um, I think that feminine feminism has ruined um, the West. <laughs> I do. Shit, tell them how you really feel. All right. No, I, and, and I think that if it wasn't for that, then these discussions may not need to be had. Fair enough. Um, so I think it's sad that we j- simply talk about sex when it comes to relationships, and there's far more subjects that we should be discussing. Like, like what? Like, <laughs> like if you got back so like, harsh. <laughs> like what? No, no, no. We're listening. Go ahead. Go ahead. Um, like morals like i think there okay. are other things in life that i mean obviously sex is one thing right but yep. there's there's plenty of other things that we need <laughs> in a relationship or, or who's laughing at me we're laughing at chris come on chris we're let, laughing let her, at chris her, um, all right, all right, no i think i think just feminism has ruined us 
Okay. Um, but as long as there's a market for what feminism is selling, we're 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 screwed, right? Because there's going to be a market for OnlyFans girls selling your ass for four ninety nine. Not four ninety nine. Sorry. I don't even know who's selling. Sale going. I don't know who's selling their butt. Fifty percent off. Yeah. As long as there's a market for that. Yeah. As long as there's people paying for that, yeah. then we're going to have men, men are always going to pay for female sexuality. Yeah. Mm-hmm. You know, I mean, I mean, it's very difficult. I mean, one in three guys right now is a virgin or hasn't had sex in a year. Well, I think there's other things that they should be working on to get where they need to be. Right. Yeah, no, I agree. I agree. I, I Here's the thing. I, I I criticize men and women. I criticize guys for not being on their shit and understanding that there is a burden of performance. You got to get in the gym. You got to make money. You got to understand how women think you got to, you have to be the, you have to become the prize as the guy. You have to become attractive. And I blame women for being delusional about where, they, what, what they think, where they think they stand, right. As far as like where they rate themselves and then what they think they deserve. Yeah. In other words, I see girls that are fat, obese, rude, obnoxious, that are literally threes that think they deserve a top shelf guy. And not only do they think they deserve a top shelf guy, they think they deserve him. And it's going to be monogamous to them, which is even funnier. So my thing is we just bring women to reality. You want a winner? You're going to have to share them. You want monogamy? You're gonna have to deal with a more. about that um, so you were saying um going back to what you were saying average guys five foot eight and uh 50k okay with that what did i say in response you said you're okay with an average guy maybe five ten um yeah as long as he's not a feminist yeah all right all right then man if you're not a feminist five foot eight fifty k you got you. Hit her up. Wait, even if... oh yeah you can't be back though i'm trying to get out of california because uh, it's horrible but yeah, that's true california wait what about that uh, i said he can't be back <laughs> yeah right yeah, yeah. Okay. Pure blood only. Yeah. Do you ask that? Do you ask that on dates? <laughs> how do you how do you go about asking that? I'm actually intrigued with this. How do I, like, oh, you work there? Did they did they make you get vaccinated? Sorry, I can't say it. No, you can go. Let's just say did they, did they make you get the V. Just say did they make you get the V. Go ahead. Did they make you get the Fauci ouchie? Fauci ouchie. <laughs> that's so that's like, a unique way. I, I don't know because I haven't been on a date in a while. But um, what? Come on. No, I haven't. You haven't been on a and, date. And it's because of these past two, like so many people. I live in California. Maybe it's different. This is Florida. Um, but so many men are very, very feminine. I well, can see that. Are you California. you don't have to say exactly yeah, where in California? Uh, are we talking um like South, Southern California? Okay, L- 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 LA or more San, more San Diego? San Francisco. Oh. San Francisco. Well, she said that's that's Northern California. Oh, I wouldn't know. Um, okay, <laughs> I mean, uh, well, California is very uh, very, very liberal, hot. and typically when yeah. you live in a blue state, you know, people are going to be a little bit more liberal, being more liberal like if typically you listen means... To the, if you listen to the government these past two years, then I cannot even entertain going anywhere with you. Okay, fair enough. I think you have to move here. Well, I think I do. Yeah, well, yeah you got to leave. I don't know. Yeah. You got to get out of California, dude. Yeah, no, I do. Get out. That's a good All right. Idea. Uh, any, anything else, Chris? Yeah, sure. Uh... All right, I'll read these chats and then. All right, can you ask the ladies if they would realistically survive? No, read that one. Question for the men and ladies Should women have the right to vote? Yes, bro. Yeah, what of course. The hell? Why not? Yeah. Um, That's a good one. And we're done. All right, yeah. We, we got a show on Friday. Yes. Uh, po- possibly because we, we might do it in Vegas. We might not. It depends yeah. on some situations. If not, we'll be right back here with the with the special, special guest, guest. Uh, that we got lined up. Or if not, we'll be with a special guest in uh in Vegas on Friday. But uh, yeah, man, guys, don't forget to subscribe to the channel. All the ladies' Instagrams are below. Go ahead and send your dick pics, and uh, we'll catch you guys. <laughs> one million, guys. One yeah. million. One million, man. We hit it, man. Love the crew. Yes, love the guys. Love the moms. Love the journey. Yes, Fuck it. It's what it is, man. Come on, man. It's one million, man. <laughs> 
All right. Boy, I need more hype. Ow! Drunk Did you Chris. guys. Balloons. Drunk Ow! Chris. Hey, no, Drunk Chris. champagne Chris. <laughs> okay. All right. We'll yep. catch you guys on Friday, man. Peace. Peace. Bye. All the night is my world. City light. Paint it girl.